Howdy ho! Number one, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot, and I, I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter of fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. Hey, girl gang, what up, everybody? It's so good to see you guys. We are on day three of fuck shit. Woo! I am down for some fuck shit. We were just live on, over on Twitch, twitching and tweaking. And oh my God, we ended right at the right moment. Because here we are for our reaction stream. It's not really a reaction stream because it's kind of a cop out. You know how our girl does it. She can't burn anyone or come up with a point on her own. So she's going to sit back and press play on her buddy Slow Mama's video. But that's fine. We've done this before. This ain't our first rodeo. That just means I get to burn two people at once instead of one. So that's fun for everyone. I can't wait. She's already started. Of course, we're letting that little buffer of time build so we can watch her sped up. I like it better like that. Yamino Zo me. I hope I said that right, girl. Forgive me. Thank you for the super chat. Just to make her more mad, here's some money. Why, thank you so much. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you not the one who gifted her the membership to Sam's um channel earlier today? I believe it was you. And oh my God, you made us all laugh. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well played, girl. MB, thank you for the super chat. Good day, Frenchie. Good day to you too. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Del, hey Del, thank you for the super chat. Get her ass Frenchie, bye bye. I will try as always. <laughs> All right, listen. Um, without further ado, I don't. I don't really know what else. There's no setup. This is a react. She's coming for many people. It's gonna be pew, 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 pew all over the place. So yeah, we're going to do what we always do. Speed her ass up uh, until we catch up with it, with her in real time. Then we'll pop on her chat. Okay. Whew. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Oh, wait, it was you. I knew it was you. I knew it. <laughs> well done, girl. All right, y'all hold up. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, my friends, let me see here. Now, I'm going to be reacting and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using um, Yo Mama's stream, some parts of it. I'm not going to react to the whole thing. I did write timestamps. Um, for those of you who are new and are not familiar with a gore world, you're probably better off. Uh, <laughs> Girl, nobody's new. I feel like the, the volumes are off. Tell me and I'll lower my volume if needed, okay? Nobody is new. Nobody. Takat told all her people to unsub. So the new people are now gone. You don't need to explain a thing. 
don't go down that rabbit hole. Uh, Gore World is basically a entire community of hate reactors about YouTube um, platforms. And these are people who react to me using the excuse that they don't just react to my videos. They go real life, they harass, they say the most vile things, and then they 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 justify that with saying that I'm a vile and horrible person. So I thought I would point out some really good points from that stream of Yo Mama's. Um, I think it's his most recent stream. Um, and uh, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, they dare, nobody dares to go against except for him. So can we fucking get to it? All right. So that's it. I'm going to be, I'm smoking shisha, but uh, you might hear that once in a while, unfortunately. But uh, I must. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Talia, I know it might be confusing for some people, but I'm using, hi, teardrop, hi, everybody. Creepy. When it comes to the Gore World reactors, I definitely agree with a lot of things. That... I'm so sorry. Kalari, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. DG, we knew. She, she, can't, she can't formulate an argument. How could she possibly react? He says okay so um where am i going to start here all right i want to first show you a cute picture <laughs> um of sam i said i would show you the most recent um picture of my my cat i used to have hi golden girl <coughs> and jane g hello hi all beezers non beezers um so i rehomed my my cats before coming here and uh I get regular updates um, from Sam, and I thought I would show you him and his best friend. Here's the sweetest boy ever. Whoops, hold on a second. Oh no, why did I do that? Where is he? You'll have to bear with me. I'm really not familiar with. Here he is. I know he looks a little peeved. Oh, that's really nice. Sam has a friend. Oh, that's okay. I love that. Good for Sam, living his best life. No, I mean, I, he had BBJ. It's not nothing. I'm not trying to shit on BBJ, of course, but he, he was so young. He wanted a playmate and BBJ was old. She didn't want to play anymore. I hope this is more of a playmate for him. That's really nice. And Noray, Ray, thank you for the super chat. Oh, I know. We just, just reacted to that on Twitch. But he has that look, you know. I don't know what this bottle is. I think it's- She's insane. Not, maybe if it is, oh well. No, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> and this is his friend, his black and white tuxedo cat friend. That's a chunk. <laughs> yeah, his big boy. So that's him. He's very happy. Apparently, I get regular updates, and uh, he's being very well taken care of. So, hey, Dream. Hey, Gizmo. Hey, everybody. I missed. Hello, everybody. Meep. Um, all right, so we're going to hide that, and uh, I'm going to react to... Uh... What? What do you mean that's not Sam? That looks just like Sam. Yeah, Sam was the gray cat, but th that looks like Sam to me. Uh, Sam looks all right. He's got a little friend. I, I think Sam's okay. Um, start this reaction, okay? Because it might be a little long. And yeah, all right. Let's... Gotta use that violence, baby. Wait, my girl. Why do you always gotta use violence? Your fist wants to talk. Where is it? Wow. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh... Wow, your fist wants to talk. Okay, no, we're not starting there. So here's the timestamps. Let me see. Where did I want to go first? Um, want to go to? Oh, why? But you could have started there. I like that one. Yes, my fists wanted to talk. Hmm? My fists have an opinion of their own and they would like to speak sometimes. You flat out just said that you wanted to pummel Shannon's husband. Oh no, it wasn't even Shannon's husband. I believe it was Shannon that you were referring to. Chantal has on numerous occasions said that she wants to beat my ass. Punch me out. My fists just want to talk. I'm going to put little googly eyes on them and paint them with lipstick. And they're going to sit here. Instead of me coming on camera, it'll be my fist doing the reaction. Hmm? 749. So the first person that uh, is a, a big reactor of mine for a year, I kind of forgot about them, but they... Wait a minute, wait a minute, and correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he just... Wasn't he just like banned on YouTube for seven days because he had said something about the person who filmed uh, Amber Lynn in public, what he would do if it was him, and it was quite violent, and so he was banned from his own channel for seven days. Well, you always talking about the violence fucking hypocrite astrofet thank you for the super chat they've been reacting to me for years most of these people have been reacting to me for years okay so keep that in mind and the first one is spoiled milk spoiled milk tea okay i don't know why all these react lame reactor well, i don't know if what, not lame but what's the i think lame is a bad word now so what can i say just ridiculous reactors have all these like milky tea whatever kind of names they all you know 
just parrot each other and have the same names and nothing original. So this is, I thought he had some interesting things to say about uh, Milk Reach Reacts. So let's, <laughs> let's watch this together, okay? Hi, Zach Seller, Sophia. Hi, Pam. Michael's in a gaming um, thing that he got. It's all off Amber Lynn. But speaking of terms of service, because that's why we're here. Milk and Tea. Hi, Carolina. Okay, yeah wants to talk about Foodie Beauty's terms of service, mm. that she's breaking terms of service. Now, yeah. this has been floating around the internet for the last two weeks about Foodie Beauty has finally reached 100,000 subscribers and she's on her way to get her plaque. Now, <clears throat> she's been on YouTube for a while and she's finally going to get her plaque and a lot of these reaction channels are very angry, very mad. And they can never... We're only mad because of the way she got to 100K. You don't cheat your way to 100K and expect what, ass packs? No, we're going to point out the obvious. Arf, arf, thank you for the super chat. Yes, I fully believe she is reading off of a script written for her by a combination of pissy poo and this dumbass. Ever give Foodie Beauty no kind of credit, right? So when Foodie Beauty is up to collect her plaque, these reaction channels start running with conspiracy theories. One of them is she bought subs, okay? Which is against terms of service, okay? And if she was going to buy subs, she could have probably did it a while back, but all of a sudden she bought subs. And another thing, she... No, it's not all of a sudden. People have been accusing her of doing that for quite a while. Just this, this sub for sub thing is just in the past week, okay? The buying of the subs, that's not a new accusation. Sydney, thank you for the super chat girl. Yeah, cam up shot doll. <laughs> no, I, I like it better with the avatar. Totally honest. It doesn't bother me. Her face bothers me. Promoted people sub into her channel in somebody else's channel. Now, this other channel that she went to to ask them to sub up her channel um, didn't really have a lot of viewers, mm -hmm. but for some odd reason, they all, when Foodie Beauty went in there and asked for some subs, they all went to go sub to her channel, which gave her the 800 she needed to reach 100K. And now they're all like, you broke terms of service, first and foremost. This reaction channel's got to understand that blaming another channel Hi, for telling people to go over there and sub to Foodie Beauty's channel, that's not got her, that's not what got her to 100,000 subs. When are these reaction channels are going to take responsibility for their, their actions on getting Foodie Beauty 100,000 subs? Huh? I just want to ask that question. I mean, all this blaming going around, all this, how did she reach 100,000 subs? YouTube's not doing this job and all this other bullshit. But I never see these reaction channels take responsibility. Because if anybody got Foodie Beauty to 100,000 subs, it would be you. You are the motherfuckers that dedicated your channels to Foodie Beauty! <laughs> <laughs> and? Apples and oranges. Like, what does that have to do with anything? So... Us keeping her channel on life support and like keeping her relevant and people going to her channel because of us has something to do with the fact that she did a sub for sub scam to get herself to 100K. It, one has nothing to do with the other. Hey, <laughs> fucking idiot. This one can't make a point either. And for some reason, Chantal thinks he's like the brain of the operation. Yikes. When this is the brain of your operation, you're fucked. <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> you know, some people have some theories as to why. <laughs> Tracy, thank you for the super chat. Yes, this is new. This is live now. You guys don't take It's true. It's like, I, I mean, I didn't even think of it that way because like, if you look at all of the, even if it's infamy, you're still giving me free promotion to my channel. So, I mean, he's going to later say there's like, you know, a documentary made about me recently that gets like a million views. You got to think that some of it's going to send some subscribers my way, you know, and he's right. The people that I was in their chat, these people from like the Arab world. The documentary came out three days ago, three days ago. Stop it. No. So now it's because of this documentary that you got to 100K. This is where the new, the new people came to your channel before part one even came out. Yeah, that makes sense. The Bergie, thank you for the super chat. Um, you know, uh, I got very few, very few. I could count on my hand how many people came to to say hey and subscribe to my channel from that. So, but anyway, keep listening. <laughs> Responsibility for nothing. You talk about the woman every damn day. You talk about her to your chat. You mention her when's her next video. Where's the community post? You guys are the reason why she got the subs where they are today. And you guys want to blame everybody else. You guys are free fucking promotion. Good or bad, it's promotion. You can't blame some channel that she popped in or she popped her head into and said, hey, guys, sub me up. And then all of them, not all of them just went over there and subbed her up. You guys are blaming that. No, blame yourself. You guys dedicated your goddamn channels to food. I, I, I cannot stand this guy. For real. You're missing the point purposely and just yelling. <laughs> yell to make your point but don't miss the point completely and then be yelling you fucking moron this i i swear to god
this guy is very much on on like her level on on par with her they all purposely miss the point purposely paint her as some kind of victim get your nose out of her ass crack you fucking tiny little bitch you are so pathetic you know why you sit there licking her ass and talking shit about us because you couldn't make it as a reactor so you found your own little niche in her ass fupa folds to make your your coin you would be a reactor too we all get it stop okay Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. That, uh, you know what, is something to be proud of. Not even going to lie. Marvin, thank you for the super chat. Slow Mama's voice is like nails on a chakra. I agree. <laughs> totally missing the point. At least fucking hit the point. Then do your little stupid giggle. Del, thank you for the super chat. While the reactor's audiences grow, foodies' views have declined a lot, but the subs go up. Exactly. Exactly. But no, they'll purposely not address that miss that point. They don't see that or understand that. It's so stupid. Devil man, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Booty beauty. And then you're shocked when she reaches 100K. <laughs> oh my God, how did this happen? <laughs> There's documentaries after documentaries. Like I said, five months ago, a guy got a million goddamn views on a foodie beauty documentary. Documentaries are popping off all this free promotion you give her. Of course, she's one day going to reach 100K. But it can never be genuine, right? It's always got to be, wait a minute, something happened. Something had to happen. Of course, something. Go and look at Social Blade. Oh my God, he. This guy's crazy voice makes you want to speak in a really rational voice and calm, eh? Go look at her Social Blade, and you can see that something's happened. Go to Twitter and read Mo's translates of the chat to Cat's chat. You can see exactly what happened. She was sent people over to sub up. It's part of why she made her channel Everyday Miriam and deleted everything from before she had her hijab on. She was pretending to be something she wasn't to that uh, Takat woman and her community. It's clear as day. My God. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. <laughs> what? What's it, the fight between them? Like a week ago, she was like, never going to talk to him again. Is this how he gets back in the ass crack? He says to her, Chantal, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll make you a hit piece. Don't worry. There'll be no logic behind it. But, but you can use it. You can play it. <laughs> Frenchie gives Gabba the key. Thank you for the super chat. Exactly. He doesn't know anything about like the history of Shantopolis. He gets everything wrong about the community, but he sits there yelling it. And, you know, if you say something with enough confidence, the morons around you think that you know what you're talking about. So there are some people, let's say, who haven't been in the community that long who don't know. When he spews a fact as confident as he does... They believe it. They don't know. You know, that's why it's fun to watch reactors who have been around. It's fun to have a community who's, you, you know, often I'll say like, oh, am I crazy? Or did da 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 da, -da happen when she lived at BB's? And there's like so quickly, like with a quickness, like 20 of you in the chat are like, yes or no. You know what I mean? There is value to that. Not just sitting there spewing your fucking mouth. What's the point? MB, thank you for the super chat. Exactly. He doesn't even go here. Happen. She can't just get 800 subs in a, in, in a week. That's impossible. And why are we pretending that it's 800 in a week? It was 800 in a day. She's gotten over 2,000 in a week. Her channel usually grows 2,000 subs in like a fucking year. But none of them looked and saw that there was a million view documentary that was literally promoting her channel. Nobody looked and said, wait a minute, there, there was a big ass watch of Foodie Beauty from a big channel. And big channels cover. Thank you, Kalari. So her getting 800 views in a week is not, it's, it's not uncommon, right? But if she was to pay for it, she would get in trouble for it. He's very, he's just very animated, Candy, when he talks. <laughs> but again, when are these reaction channels going to take responsibility? When are they going to take responsibility for their, th what, what they've done to get her to 100K? If anybody got her to 100K, it's you. But you're blaming everybody else. You're the one that's promoting her channel every day. Every word, every, you think, you think the people that watch you don't go over there and sub? Or they don't hate watch her when you're not reacting? Hold on. Let's just have a little sidebar right here for a minute, okay? Because 800 subs in a week and 800 subs in a week. I don't really think anyone in the community would have really batted an eye uh, about 800 subs in a week. So let me just open up Social Blade here for a second. Here it is. Hope you can all see that. There you go. So, yes, look, today she's lost 1,000 subs. 
look past today, okay? Yesterday, she gained 1,000 subs in a day. On Monday, 300. On Sunday, 500. How the fuck do you see that? How do you calculate that to be uh, 800 subs in a week? Are you insane? Do you just purposely not look at the facts and sit there spewing just complete and utter bullshit? Because anybody can go over to Social Blade and see it for themselves. Your arguments and and whatever are as dumb as Chantal's. There's no facts in anything you say and there's no facts in anything she says. Uh, she says, you could go as far as to say you're as big as a fucking liar as she is. Not all you guys snipe at the same fucking time. So they go, you know what? I'll just watch it on my own. And then when my favorite creator comes on, I'll watch it with her. That's what they do. You guys are the biggest promoter of Foodie Beauty, but then cry when she reaches 100K and get a plaque. She doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve it. Aren't you the motherfucker that dedicated your whole channel to her? <laughs> if it wasn't for her, there wouldn't be no you. Exactly. I love how people pretend like, yeah, sure, they give me a promotion as well. But like literally without me or my content, there would be no gore world. There would be nothing. There would be like, seriously, these people have. Right. But that flipped a long time ago when Crackhead Olympics ended and Kuwait Arc started that it became if it wasn't for the reaction channels, there'd be no more Foodie Beauty. Your channel's on life support. And it's only the reaction channels keeping that life support going. Jay Frankie, thank you for the super chat. That's what it sounds like to me. I have nothing on their channels except for my videos. And then I find it funny when they're surprised, yeah, that I reach 100K or they, some of them want really hard to take down my channel. But then like, if I have no channel, you have no content. It's like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But that's why we're here. We're here to talk about milk, milk tea. This one right here. Now this one is going to tell us all about breaking terms of service and what Foodie Beauty has done. To I'm not hating, but... I would really like to know how for like, I would say what, four or five years now this person's been reacting to me. How does her, her wig stay the same? Like I've had wigs, cheap wigs like this, and they really just become ratty and tatty in like a few months. I don't know if I'm just, it's not taking care of them, throwing them in the back of the Kia. Well, there you just answered your own question. Don't ask stupid questions. Some people take care of the things they have. Some people know how to do that, right? You treat everything like shit because you're a spoiled brat. So don't ever wonder why your things don't hold up like other people's stuff. Chantal's ex-legal counsel. Thank you for the super chat. Hello. <laughs> anyway, all right. Break terms of service. Service. Roll it. Chicken. They had had chicken and uh, potatoes. Oh, great, and Vicky. Uh, oh, my God. His voice is so irritating. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I think right. she's got butter chicken left because she had come online. As I uploaded my old one. Come on. So she says... <laughs> This person has so much important things to say. I mean, what the heck are they, what is she reacting to? This is why she's crap, honestly. She's take, her reaction is taking inventory of how much groceries I have and how much I have left. Did you not hear her just say she had noodles that we didn't see in the grocery haul? Well, maybe sour milk that I had those noodles from another grocery haul. Did that ever occur to you that even though people do grocery top ups that they still have some remaining groceries from the previous haul? people stop comparing yourself to people you eat everything and then you go buy more things stop it whatever doesn't rot in your fridge if we're not talking about a fruit or a vegetable fair to assume it's gone soulless thank you for the super chat absolutely did that never occur to you at all no not not at all you like to like cycle like, like hyper analyze things but you can't analyze that fact and then she says i think she has butter chicken left well, you were right. Yes, your prediction was right. That makes you a super reactor, right? Because I had chicken tikka masala just the next day. But they're keeping track of my groceries. How is this not ridiculous? Oh, okay. Anyways, let's go on. Online with the fajitas, and then I don't react to that. Right. She didn't so react to my fajitas. This woman reacted to me eating fajitas. I, I just, I can't. And we all did. And those weren't fajitas. That was sort of the point. Everyone was dogging on your piece of shit plate of food that made no sense and you called it fajitas don't act ridiculous and expect us to have nothing to say tc honey thank you for the super chat i think you're right that's pretty fucking sad <laughs> i can't i can't i can't i'm gonna rage what she actually bought there isn't gonna be much left there okay. she also at some point in the last day made it to a hundred thousand subs now this has been something she hasn't managed to do for a long time but her numbers went up quite suspiciously like they're going in big jumps right at the end even though suspiciously quite suspiciously but you can do your research because, like I said, and I pointed out yesterday. No, it isn't nice, but she has something wrong with her that she has to wear it, I think. Well, you know what? I didn't make fun of her condition for being bald because I have hair issues too. And I still, I get made fun of by a lot of reactors for that, by the way. But uh, I'm just saying the wig. I mean, I really, like, if you look at her thumbnails, the same brick wall background and the same wig. For years, my wigs could never. There was. 
And if we look at your backgrounds, what? We saw the same blue couch with the same ugly chin spanks for a year. And before that, it was the same luxury villa and the same bald ass head for years. You're really going to talk about other people's backgrounds? That's a background to film. That was you living your life. And we still only got ever one background. 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. Exactly. 100K subs, but 500 live viewers. And this is her doing the absolute most. This is drama. This is reacts. This should be a big audience, right? Well done, Chantal. But no, tell us again how we only exist because of you. I don't fucking think so. Lilu Dallas Multipass, thank you for the super chat. She is so pathetic. She's got to play someone else reacting. Yeah, she can't do it on her own. She can't make a fucking point, and neither can this guy. Sad. It was a million viewed documentary put out on Foodie Beauty just recently. But hey, suspiciously, of course. So this is the weirdo making fun of my groceries. I wonder when people come in and comment, I know they get it from somewhere. Some crappy reactor they've been watching. Someone came in and said, where did the noodles come from? They weren't in your grocery haul. Like it's a conspiracy that I have ramen noodles not from the same grocery haul. I, I don't understand. Like, why would I hide noodles? That's what I'm getting. To. That's what I think they're getting to. She's hiding noodles. Why would I hide noodles but show you 60 chocolate bars? Which because you lie consistently about things that make no sense to us. We can't make logic of why you lie about the things you do. So this would just be another thing. We're like, we can't figure out what's the point to lie about this, but you'll do it because you just, you're a fucking liar. It's, you know, rule one, number one of Chantopolis is that Chantal lies. So it, it, it is what it is. I don't, know, I don't know. She's so always like mad that she's taken as a liar, tries to paint everyone else as a liar. It's the baseline of you. It's what you're known for. Can you imagine to be known for like the one thing, the number one thing you're known for the lies, the consistent, insane lies. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Imagine having nothing even to add. You have someone else doing, I would say the heavy lifting, but he's really shitty at it. He's doing all the reacting and she doesn't even have anything to add to it. She's useless. Which by the way, I've also, they've also counted how many chocolate bars were bought. Of course. Go ahead. So she was not doing anything to earn subscribers. Um, she was actually doing the opposite and people were dropping off. But she did admit to joining. How were people dropping off? Sour tea. I had 98 point something, 98.2 subscribers close to. That was more than I've ever had. It's not like I ever had 98,000 subscribers before and people unsubscribe. Like, it's not like I had more than 98 subscribers and people dropped off and brought me down. No, that, that's the most subscribers I've ever had. And honestly, 98,000 subscribers. No, no, no. You had 101,000 yesterday. 101,000. And now they're dropping off because you're a fraud and you use someone to get to 101,000. And now they, God damn you, Miriam. And they're telling everybody to unsub to you. Love that. The return of, uh, I don't know why I always say Victoria, Veronica Sawyer. Thank you for the super chat. He absolutely does. Subscribers, I'll take it. Thank you. It's more than you have. You've been doing this for how many years and you still have the same amount of subscribers, not nearly 100K or not nearly 98. So yeah, go on. I'm kind of sub the sub program. Sub the sub program. I was apparently against YouTube. I mean, that is true. However, I'm sure if any of the reactors had jumped onto the bandwagon of doing mukbangs and eating themselves into a state where they're about to lose a leg, any one of us could have had 100,000 subs. <laughs> no one cares. It's not so, it's a support right. And she was seen in their channel or in their chat room somewhere right. saying, oh, I only need 800 more until... Hi, Pam, I have a YouTube over high up to the secret noodle dealer. I have a secret noodle dealer who comes by every night and sells her an ounce of tortellini. Okay, <laughs> and then suddenly jumping up by 800, whether she bought them or she got them from that program. Totally agree. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I couldn't believe the way she reacted to that to cat woman coming into her chat. Like, oh, well, I don't know. It's not about me. There's nothing I can do. Like, you're on your own, sort of. I couldn't believe that. At least, you know, she's so good at lying and being fake. Why wasn't she fake right there, too? Like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. Like, oh, when my stream's over, I'll message you. Or I don't know, some insincere bullshit like that. She really, the ego inflated a little too quick on that 100K. I'm not sure how YouTube's gonna. Look. If you did a little bit of research, like you like to do on everything else on Google, you, I mean, go look at this person's this Tacket person's channel. They have 30 people watching on a good day. They have 13, I think, what 30,000 subscribers, but they don't have that many people in the chat. There weren't that there weren't 800 people in the chat when I was there. There was like even less than 30. Okay, so, girl, you're raging right now, and you don't have 800 people in your chat, and you have 100k. 
where would 800 from 30 come from? Where? Anyway. Okay. But then YouTube isn't historically great at following up the problems in her channel. And that's where I want to get to the hypocrisy. YouTube doesn't do a good job on following up things on the terms of service on food. I think they did a pretty good job when it came to you. Like I said, he's just come off of a seven day ban for saying that he would do some violent shit to somebody who filmed Amber Lynn in public. I'd say that's YouTube doing a pretty damn good job of enforcing their TOS. You just a little butt hurt because they enforced it on your ass. <laughs> that's a shame. Have a sue, mom. Thank you for the super chat. The beauty channel. But ma'am, can huh. we talk about your channel for a second? Yeah, we can. Milk tea? Are you not breaking terms of service? Let's talk about it. Here's your channel right here. Let me, let me, let me. Listen, I'm not, I'm not even kidding, EM. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. If we never spoke about Chantal on this channel again, we talked about Lushy. We still did our twitching and tweaking and did all the fuck shit we do over there and stuff. This could become a Lushy reaction channel. This could become, we just, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know, ra randomness channel. The Lushy reacts on this channel, it works. I'm fine with that. I enjoy watching that content. Chantal really, really thinks she's much more important than she is in the equation. Chantal is how we all found each other, how this community was found together. Are we, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't necessarily have to be the only thing forever. When she... <clears throat> How can you say this on this platform? When she's no longer on the platform, okay? I don't give a fuck. We're going to pivot. Everyone here will. All the reaction channels will. VJJ, thank you for the super chat. The cringe when she tries to react. Can you really call it a react, though, when you're just playing a react? I don't know if you can call that a react. I don't know. I guess that's for each of us to decide. X just saying, thank you for the super chat. Can't stand his voice either. He's so unsympathetic. It's beyond unsympathetic. He's delusional. He's delusional in his own way, but he's got a real, like, confident way with his delusion. It's very, very strange. I don't like. Renee Brown, thank you for the super chat. Slow Mama is the type of person that Foodie Beauty loves because he's too stupid and naive to detect her lies and inconsistencies. Oh, you see, I disagree. Oh, I hard disagree. He sees her, her uh, let's say, lies. He's definitely, he sees the inconsistencies. They, they had a falling out a few days ago and stuff. He's here for some coins. Always remember when you're talking about slow mama, this is not somebody who had any interest in girl world or is here because he's been watching or like all of us, right? This is someone who rode into this community on Gorlick Bread's asshole. He came in to fuck around with Gorlick Bread because they're in another community, like a, a the Madden gaming community or whatever together. It's the only reason that this guy is in the community. He doesn't know shit about shit, and he could not fucking care less about Chantal. He couldn't hang as a reaction channel because he doesn't know any of the history or the lore or anything. So he found a way to make his little bit of the coins, and they're up her asshole. That's what it is. He doesn't give a shit about her lies or inconsistencies. In my opinion, that weird guy, Justin, hello. Thank you for the super chat. I will throw hands with her over milk tea. Chins could never. Are you not breaking terms of service? Ma'am, are what? you not breaking terms of service? You know terms of service says that you cannot dedicate your channel to one person. You cannot dedicate your fucking channel to one person. You're breaking terms of service. The hypocrisy. Here, look at the titles. Okay, here's the thing. You snipe me constantly. Your content is like, what, 95% me? slow mama so with that logic i i don't know all of us react to someone else all of us have done other types of videos here and there just like you but with your own logic wouldn't that mean that you're breaking terms of service i i really could not care less i'm just pointing out the hypocrisy the return of the i did it again what is the matter with my brain forgive me veronica sawyer thank you for the super chat girl she's jealous that's it she is jealous. She, she, I know I always say, don't just say always she's jealous, but there's a clear jealousy when it comes to Milk Tea. Milk Tea pulls off the wig that Chantal never could. She's obsessed with that because she never could. And it's almost like, why didn't it look good on me? You know? And the fact, of course, that Milk Tea is educated, poised, classy, stays calm. You know what I mean? There's a different air about her than like some others in girl world, me. You know what I mean? Um... 
and she lives in the Middle East. So she can call out a lot of the lies and bullshit that most of us know nothing about. And that really burns Chantal's ass. And I love that for us. Angel of Temptation. Thank you for the super chat. I have this narcissist, vile, cosplaying creature thinks high enough of herself to rename every human being in life. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Salad never got renamed. You're absolutely, not yet. He will when he dumps her. But now you rename him, you're Islamophobic. Foodie beauty, beauty beauty, beauty beauty. Wait, wait, let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Terms of service. Foodie beauty. Wait, what is this? Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. God damn it. You even did a foodie beauty reaction <laughs> with blonde hair. Foodie beauty. Oh my God, Vicky. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. And thank you so much for the necklaces. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot in front of everybody. Is it cool if we do two giveaways of them? You know, I'm going to keep one for myself because I'm a boss beach. And it's like a. <laughs> it's I don't, I don't know if we made a clubhouse here like they have on bravo that would definitely be in the clubhouse can we give away two of them to girls in the gang y'all for context do you remember the boss beach necklaces i have received three thank you vicky in the mail those necklaces that i went all around to claire's trying to buy us and stuff and give away so if vicky is down we will be doing a giveaway of two out of the three fucking boss beach necklaces Yes, those same necklaces that Chantal came out with while she was cracked out of her mind. And yeah, she was wearing that necklace and we all love that necklace. Oh, thanks again, Vicky. Have a sue, mom. Thank you again for the super chat. <laughs> Ma'am, you want to talk about breaking terms of service? Right. <laughs> you might want to keep that on a fucking hush. You might, you might want to keep that on a hush about YouTube not doing their job because obviously they're not doing their job with your channel. Yep. You have a whole channel dedicated to another person. That's against terms of service. Foodie beauty, foodie beauty, foodie beauty. beauty <laughs> God foodie. damn it. If they ever just look, if, if YouTube ever just looked down and just said, wait, let me check this woman's channel out. You would be, you would be toasted. Yep. You couldn't even, you wouldn't even be able to counter this. Look at this. Foodie beauty, foodie beauty, foodie beauty, foodie beauty. Let me guess. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Two, two months ago. Two months ago. <laughs> two months ago. A very, oh, it still says beauty. <laughs> it still says beauty beauty. Every title. You, you've created a channel dedicated to Foodie Beauty. See, That's night. against terms of service. And then you're crying about her reaching 100K. And then you're crying about, oh my God, she went, she went ahead and she got people to sub to her from another channel. Well, oh, he's so annoying. I don't know if this is me projecting because I'm so fucking annoying my voice, but I find this guy so annoying. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. No mama, massive simp here to dry Chantal's tears. Aww. What do you do? You came on the internet to dedicate a fucking channel to one person? And not only that, she made a channel dedicated to keeping track of my groceries. Thank you, um, Spoiled Tea Reacts. Death that this for now puts my goods. I love it. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, how much baking powder I have left. And if you haven't noticed at the beginning here, um, it said she had 14K subscribers and she's going to come for my 98K. That, that, you know, I was losing subscribers at 98K when she has 14K. For years, for years, she's had the same. Like her channel barely. Okay, but she probably gets the same amount of views as you. So who the fuck cares about a bunch of dead subs? Honest to God, it's not about subs, loser. You and your loser legacy. Legacy of losers. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. But I thought subs and views don't matter to her. That's right. They don't matter when she doesn't have any. Right? When anybody, when, if she's talking about somebody who either has more viewers uh, views or subs than her, they don't matter. But when she's coming for her words, somebody who has 14K, suddenly they matter. She's such a pig, such a narcissistic ass. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. When Foodie Beauty is avatar mode, we don't see her eat. Oh, that's better for all of us, you know? Barely grows. Okay, right. Okay, I'm going to take any advice from you. All right. And then all these people talk about, oh my God, Milk and tea is such a nice person. She's such a nice person. How? She dedicated a whole fucking channel yeah. to one person. Let's try it. Yeah, she's such a nice person. That's the reaction. Yeah, yeah. She's such a nice person. She's just copying what he just said. This is not a reaction, Chantal. Devil man, thank you for the super chat. I agree. Person, she seems fair. Yeah, she has a lot of interesting things to say, like reacting to me eating fajitas. Okay, sure. And this person always does videos from the neck down and has a lot to say about my eating habits and stuff like that. I just, uh, ugh. Anyway, 
it's just BS beyond. Like, I've heard a lot of people say, thank you for the super chat, girl. What? What? She doesn't have anything interesting to say. She was literally just keeping inventory of my groceries. She'll be making a bunch of chicken soon because I don't think she'll have much very left. So what if I don't have groceries left? People buy groceries and guess what? Spoiled tea. They eat them. That's what you do. And then when you don't have any, barely anything left, you buy more. And then you have some res residual ones left over. Like buying a multi pack of noodles. I'm going to have some left over. I know that's a weird concept for you, but. Uh... Stop. You're going to have some left over. Chantal, <laughs> rule number two of Chantopolis. There are never any leftovers. We all know that. If there was one packet of soup somewhere, she would have eaten it. There's no leftovers. Cut the shit. You eat them like multiple packs at once. She doesn't go and make a cup of noodles. She goes and makes like three packs of noodles. There's no leftover anything with this woman. Anna Ray, thank you for the super chat. Milk tea, actually his skills. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh. She hates just everything about milk tea is what Chantal is not. And she would love to be. And she's jelly. Um, yeah. It's so petty. That's what you came on the internet to do? Talk about one person? Why? She's a teacher? <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Is she a math teacher? She should use me as an example. So Fuji Beauty on August 2nd had 20 packs of Indomie noodles. Fuji Beauty has eaten seven of those packs. How many will she have left by her next grocery haul? What's your life like, dog? <laughs> Fuji Beauty. That's no, Fuji Beauty. Fuji Beauty. Fuji Beauty. 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 Bro. She has her in every four months ago. Finally. Whew. Four months. It took her four months to take Foodie Beauty out of the channel. Oh, and grow, the, and, and grow World check-in. That's crazy. And I'm pretty sure she talked about Foodie Beauty in this video. <laughs> it's crazy. These people, these All right. are, the, the hypocrisy of these people talking about another channel breaking terms of service when they're breaking terms of service. Yeah, so that's exactly right. All right. Hello, Nats. Not playing. But then the hypocrisy of you talking about channels breaking terms of service, both of them, when they both break terms of service. Chantal breaks it constantly, we all know. And like I keep saying, he has just come off of a seven-day YouTube ban for breaking terms of service and threatening someone physically on the platform. So who the fuck are you to have anything to say about anybody else breaking terms of service? You're a fucking hypocrite. And you're calling other people hypocrite for the same thing. God damn, they're both so dumb. These two really deserve each other. Moon Knight Princess, thank you for the super chat. Rather hear Chin say, what you doing on a loop than listen to Slow Mama? Totally agree. Hmm. The brow wipe. Hi, Specs. Ghostface. <coughs> she really is the fucking caterpillar. <laughs> Retired redneck. Thank you for the super chat. Girl. With me, by the way, while I'm smoking. Okay, so where else do I want to go? The next timestamp. The next one on our list. She just said the cat's not with her while she's smoking. Bitch, you were just raging yesterday. The cat was being hot boxed in the same room as you. So now that you have no like picture up, now you're going to lie to us and say that the cat's not there. She's probably got the cat like smushed right up next to her under her fupa and she's blowing the smoke right in the cat's face. I don't know who that guy is. So we're just going to skip to, what is it? 37, 37, 28. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, now, since this next re uh, reactor we're talking about, who's probably stream sniping me as we speak, uh, just booze in today. Um, she doesn't, uh, I'm going to put a picture of her up on the screen so y'all can see. Uh, where is it? We can all see these. I don't know if she showed herself. I don't think so. So um, there we go. This is. Uh... I swear to God, I just had to click and make sure we were still sped up. This is her on 1.5 speed. Oh, Jesus Christ. TC, honey, thank you for the super chat rule. The person we're going to be listening to now. Okay. That's the person we're talking about now. Um, all right, let's go. I just found the right woman, right? So that's what it, that's what it's giving me. But gay, I don't know. It, he wouldn't be, <clears throat> listen, if he was gay, he wouldn't be all on Jessica Mesca the way he was in the chat. He was all on Jessica. He wanted every every it's piece coming. of Jessica Mesca. I think by some entertained by Here we go. seeing somebody down and out or somebody affected emotionally by something. Like, I, I don't know. I'll fall on go to hell for being excited about it for you. I don't care. Satan, I'll see you there. Um, nobody cares. We're excited. You're miserable. It's really a good time. So this wonderful, I remember when booze, when just beaten, I'll say just beaten because I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't care about the whole uh, ex drunk thing. We've all had addictions, whatever. But uh, no, not many of us have beaten our grandpas. So just beaten today. Um, not many of us tried to murder a cat. Didi, not Didi. Thank you for the super chat. She's big mad. Wow. I and please, nobody, I need to say it. Nobody take that as me trying to defend Breezer. Uh, defend Breezer. I don't like that Breezer bitch. Everybody knows it. Okay. But I will always kind of, in a way, take the side of whoever's not on Chantal's side. I, I just tend to do it and I hate myself for it. Fuck you, Breezer. I remember her having this like 
Look at your mama's face in this still. I remember her when she started. She was so like, hi, I'm a person that I'm clean. I'm in recovery. And, uh, you know, her little sweet, innocent voice and all this and that. And now look at Look at how the filters. Well, and the thank you for the super jack. Whoa. Happy. Everyone's happy. I'm miserable. Just cements how miserable Gore World is. This is the, this is like, if there's a quote, one quote to symbolize Gore World. That's them. Their, their whole entire life is so obsessed with trying to make me miserable. Well, just beaten, I can promise you, I'm not nearly as miserable as you are because. Wait. She just called her just beaten? Oh. 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 That's pretty funny. That weird guy, Justin, thank you for the super chat. All you do is live in my shadow. That's it. Yes, I have a big shadow. And sure, it's big enough for, well, for some of you in Gore World, not all. But, <laughs> all right, let's 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 listen to that again. Um, nobody cares. We're excited you're miserable. It's really a good time here. Satan, I'll see you there. Um, nobody cares. We're excited you're miserable. So she's willing to go to hell because she's that bothered by me. All right. It's really a good time. It's that, a good time. So morning. your idea of a good time, instead of taking your child out to the park, uh, taking her anywhere, doing anything with your family beyond sitting... Oh, thank you for confirming. I appreciate it. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. How miserable, how miserable do you have to be? You live with your mother and you have part-time custody of your child. Like, please give me a break with your life being better. All right. Just said that she would full on go to hell. Full on go to hell. Full to on. enjoy somebody else being miserable. Here is the same woman that gave these sympathy speeches yeah. about overcoming an addiction. All this... I'm a survivor. You can do it. I'll help you. All this peace and love she's been given when she's at the bars or when she's speaking about herself. But then when it comes time to speaking about foodie beauty, it's, uh, well, I don't know. She has such a better life. She lives with her mother, goes by herself to smoke shisha, and yeah, just whatever. Give a fuck. I'll go, to, I'll, I'll, I'll go straight to hell as long as I can see <laughs> another person that I've never met in my whole life yeah. miserable. This is how, this is how. You're going to have to try harder at making me miserable because uh, it's not working. Crazy and obsessed. Teaspoon, thank you so much for the super chat. This guy screams she gains subs because of the docu and reactors, but Foodie Beauty had already hit 100K before the documentary went live. Exactly. Exactly. The documentary was what, three days ago. They, they play with the facts so it somehow fits the narrative. I don't know. It still doesn't really fit the narrative. They're both lunatics, but they try. <laughs> Deidre, thank you for the super chat. Exactly. I thought, you know, they had that big fight. He called her uh, anti-Semitic for the goblin things. She was never going to speak to him again. But she needs an ally and he needs the ass crack, you know. So here they are. Madame Maydeux, thank you for the super chat. Who is this foodie beauty he speaks of? There's only Miriam. Yes, good point. Boring everyday Miriam. These people have gotten... They are preaching about going to hell. And it all makes sense, ladies and gentlemen, in the chat. Remember when we were so disgusted to find out just Breezen going to that church and trolling Missy Moo's family church? And we were like, how can a human being even do something so despicable? This person is like close to my age, I think. They're in their 30s anyway. And that's their pastime, trolling a church, going live to snipe every single time I go live. You can't tell me you have a life. And here it is. She sold her soul in order to be a disgusting person on the internet. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of want to skip ahead of this part just because honestly I have nothing to say in defense of Breezer. So I have no commentary. You know what I mean? Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. She said neck down about milk tea because she had weight loss surgery. Uh -huh. uh, the jealousy. Oh, I see. It all makes sense. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. Uh, okay, Breezer's face has now been removed. Here we are. All right, do I have a picture of uh, the other ones? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, man. Five dollars to escape oh, they... an ambush. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that just beating looks like this. <laughs> um, to me, she looks like Robert De Niro. I can't exactly. see Exactly, A.C. I, I Hill. Thank you for the super chat. Telly? No, who is? Yeah, Telly. I used to like Telly. That is true. Movie had its reference. A movie. Of super Teddy and the support of wire. Ow. Hold on, hold on. Did she just say that Breezer looks like Robert De Niro? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat. We're symbiotic match. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You're not wrong. Definitely not wrong. Yeah. Chantal reacting to reactors, but not really doing it through someone else because she can't do it. Nimari, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Her reacting to reactors 
is to react via a reactor. That's right. Who's always having sex with her dog. Oh, yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> Sam and Yaba has lost so badly that they're now they're going after their the people that they hate by saying Jaylen that Hall. they're having sex with their pets. Come on, y'all. With no evidence, with no evidence, Al was having sex with her pet. Disgusting. I mean, this is when you get to a point where you ain't got nothing. You hear my kid in the background and you fucking never hear the end of that bad mom over there. Had <laughs> 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 a joint hanging out. You know what she reminds me of when I hear Blabba talking? They took your gerbs. They took her gerbs. A dirty underwear. Getting. It's funny that cornhole has a problem with someone's accent. You know what I mean? You've seen it. You've seen it, but you have a problem with Yabba's accent. I like Yabba's accent. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. It's very different than accents from around me. You know what I mean? And it makes me smile when I hear uh, Yabba's accent. It does. Chantal has a fucking, like, that, like, Ontario. Oh, no. Sorry. You know what I mean? She's got a fucking accent. I have an accent. Like, I suppose everybody has an accent. Ooh, that's one of those thinkers. Ooh, I just exploded my own mind. Who would be the one that has no accent? We all technically have an accent. But, like, shut up, Chantal, for real. Damn. Plutes Magoots, thank you for the super chat. I can't, I'm sick to death of that fucking hookah sound. She is just, because she's not reacting. She's just pressing play on someone else's video. Can't she mute herself when she takes her little drags of that thing? No, that would be too kind to the audience. Pull her pin up, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thanks for being here. Dress when she needs to go get her kids off the bus on camera. Where's the movie where somebody pissed in their boot? Thank you for the um, $2, uh, Jessica Mesca. I think there is, a, there is, and I really believe everything that fucking when she said when she told that story at Nasbury Farm, I I think her story is yeah, pissing off. Works <laughs> great name. Thank you for the super chat. Whoa, calm down. She absolutely did ignore her gra dying grandma and ran as fast as she could from the hospital every time she was there for Koki, so that Koki wouldn't get a chance to cheat on her. Seems to be like a pattern in her life, eh? Run after a man so he doesn't cheat on you, because every time they get a chance, they cheat on you. Kelly Cat, thank you for the super chat. I thought this was Chantal reacts, not yo mama. Rich. She can't do it. She can't do it. She can't, she can't make a point on her own. So she just sits there smoking and going, yeah, every few minutes. Ham farts. Thank you for the super sticker. Okay, guys, I have to pause for a few minutes, okay? I'll be right back. What the f She just bailed? Okay, I'm going to skip ahead here. Astro Fett, thank you again for the super chat. I appreciate it. Hold on. Um, let me see what the fuck is up. Okay, we're back. You know, putting it out. Yeah. That fucking your kids are going to grow up. Your I kids swear. are going to become old enough to watch your legacy on YouTube, a fatty cow podcast. Please. Again, when collectively the two of you, you and your scissor sister, are both collectively the size of what Amy Slayton used to be. Or Tammy Slayton. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can, I don't think she can say that about that. I think that's very much said in a hateful way. You're not allowed to say that about them. What the fuck is the matter with you, Chantal? To call them that. No, 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 no. And uh, again, calling out people's parenting? Don't make us talk about Shmi because you know how easily we can. Boom shakalak, thank you for the super chat. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Wah, wah. Slayton, sorry. Ugh, the hypocrisy. Sam and Yaba and Tweeta T be having a time of their life. <laughs> I swear Tweeta T want to drink their bath water so bad. But Sam and Yaba, they really enjoy themselves. <laughs> and Tweety T's right there, like, she'll be the third party. Like. They're vile. I don't think I really had much else to say about them, honestly. All right, let's get to uh, the biggest incel in Gore World. All right, the most embarrassing member. Ugh. This person makes me hate, hate men, really. So, sorry that I have to bring the swordfish on. Ugh, I don't, like, he legit looks like an emaciated donkey. I don't know what I ever saw, okay? So don't make fun of me. But, um, this is reacting to Gorlick incel. His, this man hates women, all right? We're gonna listen to this guy suck off this donkey, for the duration of his video, all right? He just he just goes to bat. He supports an abuser. He makes excuses for him. He believes everything him and Dudu say. It's really just disgusting, all right? So let's listen to this. Okay, this should be interesting. Not because of Koki. Do not get me wrong. 
why I think this is going to be interesting is now he's going to be, um, um, Slow Mom is going to be reacting to Gorlick Red's video. And like I said earlier, like I say all the time, uh, Slow Mama only came into this community riding in on Gorlick Red's ass. He knew nothing about Girl World, nothing at all. He knew Gorlick Red from another community and came into Girl World, okay? That's like his nemesis. So this is going to be interesting because it's like actually the one he really hates in Girl World. You know what I mean? Ooh. Duchess, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. He, Yeah, yeah. Totally agree. Totally fucking agree. It really just... I don't know. Ugh, it makes my eye twitch. It's so obnoxious. Sarah Bear, thank you for the super chat. Who is this mental giant on the screen? And who is Foodie the Beyond? Wow. Wow. The things that come out of his mouth. And by the way, we have he also doesn't go on camera because he hates himself. Another one who lives with his mother and buys her bras at uh, Victoria's Secret. That's that's from his ex-girlfriend, just boozing today. So here we go. Here we have um, Mr. Gorlick Incel right from his mother's basement reacting, obsessing about me. All right, so... Yalla. I find it odd that you want to cook in peace, but then you want to be all a part of reaction channels. You want to talk about... Because whenever people watch him make his nursing home food for... <laughs> ironically enough, his cooking is now suited because they have they have um, Dee Dee's poor mother living with them in this one bedroom, small condo with him smoking meth and cooking, I don't even know what. Um, yeah, anyway. Your ex all the time, right? Is it because you only... Ooh, she's in her feels right now, bad about Koki. It's like, why can't it be me smoking the meth with you? Why is it Didi and not me? I'll get you. They they have a, a one bedroom condo. I'll get a two bedroom condo. <laughs> oh, she's so mad she can't pick up that meth pipe. Oh, Cowie Cat, thank you for the super chat. Yes, she's, but it's deeper than just lazy. But yes, lazy, of course, baseline, 100%. Incapable. Not at, listen, I can't crochet. Not everybody is good at everything, right? I can talk mad shit. I have a fast like tongue and brain connection, but I can't crochet. Maybe this bitch can crochet, but she does not have that quick like mm -mm, connection between mouth and brain. She can't form an argument. She certainly can't burn anybody. You know, she can't do it. Only got 11 people watching you. Yep. And then, you know, the funniest part about who's <laughs> next. <laughs> AC Hill, thank you for the chat. He wants to copyright your channels, right? He copyrights all these channels. He wants to copyright your channel and then react to your channel on his stream yeah, and then get a response so he can copyright you. <laughs> it's pathetic. He, it's, pathe it's a pathetic display that this man wants to have a back and forth with you. But then... When when you attack him, he wants to call the police. But then he call he acts like I'm sorry, but this this picture of him looks like Grizzle and Sinu. Hardcore, whatever the fuck he thinks he is, when he's a clown. But anyway, Gordon Red today decided that he wanted to stick up for the nad because he's a. I see. Thank you for the super chat. I do believe it's the narcissism. She's just so fucking selfish. It's on another level. Rage. One of the number one requests that I get is to go over Natter and Didi. They went live. So you're, you thought it would be a good idea to give him more clout and attention after people spent so long trying to forget him. Okay. For about an hour last night. Do you guys want me to skip over this? Dell, I didn't even think of that. Thank you for the super chat. Do, do you guys want me to skip over this Koki bit? I'm down if you guys are. I just figured maybe Slamama would be like a little better at this part because he fucking hates garlic bread. The history between them. I don't know, but totally up to you guys. Amy Friedman, thank you for the super chat. What about Salad's vampire Igor accent? Oh no, that's hot. It's part of what makes him so attractive. Like, ugh, ugh, she's nuts. Fun size Gigi, thank you for the super chat. My kid can do better reaction than her. I don't doubt that for a second. Which I'll say for all of the people <laughs> who went live Applebee's. regarding this, I expected them to go for a really, really long time with their live stream, but. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry for the quick pause again. Lillis, thank you for the super chat. I'm a revert for uh, of two years. That, uh, oh, Snow. Okay. And Chantal gives us a bad name. Well, for sure. For sure. Yeah. How could she not? It's just, just yikes. I, I don't know what more to say. <laughs> Teaspoon, thank you for the super chat. Foodie Bitty thinks Beezers look like Rob De Niro. That, very weird. Was it a Beezer who looked like Rob De Niro? Or what? Wait, wasn't she talking about Breezy? That Breezer bitch? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that's who she was talking about. Scatman Salad, thank you for the super chat. She's 
<laughs> She's a jealous Baron Beesh. Yes, you're absolutely right. Now feed me my sheet. Go message Kai Bella. Damn it. Ham farts. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I just wanted to hear you say my name. <laughs> I love that. Ham farts. Take care. <laughs> Uh, sad cowboy frog. Thank you for the super chat. Wasn't the point of Chantal rebranding was to leave this shit behind. Yeah. She flip flops, eh? On the daily tomorrow. Watch tomorrow. She'll have deleted this and it'll be mm, guys. I just, I don't want to be negative like that. I don't want any negativity on my channel, you guys. And then the next day, maybe the next part of like Mr. Snowflake's, um, documentary will come out and she'll go right back to raging. It flip flops on the daily. Interestingly enough, they, they didn't. Just about an hour, they both kind of start out indicating that it's odd. Chantal Spencer. Start indicating that it's odd. Why do you sound like you have a mouthful of hot hamburgers? So much time bringing up Nader and Didi as they really were not. And if you go back and watch, they weren't a focal point on this aspect of the documentary. Now, that doesn't mean that Nader is going to play. They weren't an aspect of part one. In the, You're so dumb. In the beginning, in the intro to part one, it says starring and it has Natter's name there. Okay? So he's obviously going to be a point of it. That's why I brought it up in anticipation of him being an abuser sympathizer like yourself right now all right probably a massive part you're such an idiot chantal again again how do you know you have no idea what mr snowflake is gonna have to say about the whole koki era what his opinion might be about the whole koki you have no idea all you saw is that it said at the beginning starring koki and you immediately to you that equals abuse sympathizer are you insane don't answer that we all know the answer already Fabulous Fabric Fool, thank you for the super chat. Part in episode two, episode three, but the first episode really just embodied her growing up in her childhood. The only real partners, if you will, that we learned about With were BB and Pete. Right. Natter was almost exclusively not covered at all. Oh, he's so coming, I'm sure. He says, of course. We're not there yet. Me, Marie, thank you for the super chat. Oh, but it's coming. And it has nothing to do with- And that's the 15 minutes of fame you wanted, Dudu, right from the beginning, right? You inserted yourself, you wanted it, you wanted the online attention, so. There they are now. Natter reiterates that Chantal signed paperwork that indicated she was, quote, crazy, needed mental assistance, and her claims were rooted out of jealousy. And if that is, in fact, true, you know, I would love to see the... No, it was rooted out of being pressured to reverse the charges and have them dropped, which is what I did. And I've already been over that. Um, yes, at the time when I had feelings for this friggin' piece of grizzle, I would I did anything for him. We all know that. Pathetic, whatever. Old news, next. Backing up of that claim. You only got married at the end because he didn't call you. You let everyone know that you were going to be leaving within 24 hours, and that was like a dog whistle to him? Like, bitch, you have 24 hours to contact me. And he didn't. And that's why you ran off and got married. And also to dunk on us and stuff. But a major part of it was the rejection. It was like the final ultimatum and you really thought it was going to work. Joke's on you. Now you got the scat man. You went from crackhead to scat man. Bless. AC Hill, thank you again for the super chat. I appreciate it. Take care. With that paperwork that Chantel apparently had to sign for the crown. Now, I'd also like to point out, regardless how you feel about <laughs> you, go to of course I'm going to be on the big screen so him and Dudu can uh, obsess about me as usual. I'm sorry for the quick pause, but you're absolutely right, Gypsy Rock. Thank you for the super chat. I've never heard her say incel, but now I every time Scat Man is mentioned, I do point out that he is an incel woman hating fucking freak. Yes, but no, she never watches over here. It's not like she picks things up over here. She literally said shtick. Two weeks ago, shtick. Chantal, with her hijab on, said shtick. Okay? You can't tell me she doesn't pick things up over here. Just believing the words that comes out of these people's mouths is crazy. Up these two? Yeah, exactly. That's the golden girl. Did he not hear Dudu coach Chantal and what to say? She was just part of the manipulation, even worse. But she's because she's she was also under his pathetic, manipulative, narcissistic spell. So yeah, he had her. Exactly, Pixie. Exactly. Thank you for the super chat. And myself as pawns against each other to try to clear his name, a hundred percent. Having a Febreze can. So you to point out, regardless how you feel about these. I, I I like to point out, regardless how you feel about these two. Go ahead, Greg. Greg, talk to me. Sim some more. Two. Uh huh. Having a Febreze can sitting beside the TV showing Chantal is just Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. You know what's Chef's kiss? Incel garlic stale post is that your neck beard in this picture looks like you smell like dusty baseball cards and sweaty summer sausage. All right. So can it. Material. Didi makes. I gotta go back. Look at Gordon Bread kissing that ass, baby. Gordon Bread, talk to me nicely. Somebody yeah. told me back in the day this nigga used to kiss the nads, the nads nuts. <laughs> I didn't believe it until this stream right here. Now you see Nad. Now you see Gordon Bread gobbling the cock. Look at him. Look at him. Hold on. <laughs> so, look at he got the Febreze can right there. <laughs> 
Go ahead, Gorlick. Show your true colors, baby. I've been waiting for this day. Go ahead. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I could not care less even that they're talking about Koki. This is not about Koki. This is about right now Gorlick Bread and fucking Slow Mama. They, they hate each other. Oh my God, that was graphic even for Slow Mama. Ugh. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, we could watch that. I've never watched it. The chef's kiss? The chef's kiss? Yes. Fine for the crown. Now, I'd also like to point out, regardless how you feel about these two, uh -huh. having a Febreze can Febreze? sitting beside the TV chef's showing kiss. Chantal is just chef's kiss material. Didi makes the point that anyone that has been in Chantal's life Boy, usually... Thank you for the super chat. That's all she's ever got. Like, oh, yeah, because you know what? I had a lot of toxic, crappy people in my life, and I'm just realizing it and cleaning out the trash, including these two, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah, good. Oh, good. I'm glad they're gone. Stalker, but ultimately not in her life. Wow. And a lot of people have made that point. You know, this documentary is about Chantal, who today, you know, contrasted to all... What the about you, Gorlick Toast? Do you don't think it's a little dysfunctional of a relationship to be uh, complimenting just Beating's hair because it looks like your mom's? What kind of Oedipus complex do you have? Just can it. All right? Seriously. What did you do for just beating when you were with her? The only relationship we really know about because you're too coward to put your life on mine. No one cares. You literally had her setting alarms for you. You literally had her show up at an Airbnb that you couldn't pay for. Please just don't make me go on. The things she's done and said seems to have a very long history of people long history. turning on her. Nope. Uh -huh. nope. And you can make the case. No, I turn on them and I clean out the trash. Who turned on me? Oh, okay. Teaspoon, I got it. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Who? That, you know, it's doo-doo. Okay. Her turning on them first. Case in point, just yesterday, the sub for sub. <laughs> Gorlick like Bread is. Is he going to bring up the sub for sub and that person, that tack at person turning on me? Do you know that had nothing to do with me? Do you know that that had everything to do with haters going and reporting her and trying to associate and trying to blame it on me and saying not to associate with my channel? And then you're going to blame me for that? Okay. Nice. Nice deduct. Nice reasoning. Like one of the fucking weirdest persons on the internet. He, re <laughs> he, he repeats everything that everybody else says. <laughs> and then he kisses <laughs> ass. He doesn't need this woman anymore that helped her. Uh -huh. And now when that person comes to Chantel and asks for help because she feels like her channel is. Oh, sorry. Okay. Here's the problem, Chantel. It is on you what happened with the cat because you weren't honest. You went over there and it wasn't even you. You can't say it was you because again, Mo is the one who had to translate for everybody. The, the messages, they were written in Arabic. It wasn't even you into cat's chat. You had your fucking scat man go in and oh can you help me get to a hundred thousand subs and you would change your name to everyday miriam to like fit in with these women and have them come and support you you use them in a very dishonest way with him doing the messages so they thought you know you yeah you were like sort of like them right and as soon as you got to 100k like you could care less. You didn't warn her like, hey, just so you know, I come from a pretty crazy community and there's a lot of lunatics. Don't listen to them. They're going to try. You know what I mean? You could have warned her a little bit, but you didn't bother because you got your 100K and then she was no more used to you. So you were even rude to her when she came into your chat. That's you. Always you. So let's thank you for the super chat. Being threatened, Chantel simply just washes her hands and walks away from it. Right. Now, Didi I walk away from it. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to go to that Takak lady's uh, stream and apologize over and over for something I didn't do? Did I did I report her channel? You moron? No. Was I the one who reported her channel? No. Trolls did that. So really, you're coming after the wrong person. Thank you. Oh, that's that she sad, Del. Thank you for the super chat. Imagine all this drama, 455 people on a channel with 100K. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? Uh, she matter her site that she gave the internet the impression she wanted us to have of matter. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're going to completely ignore, completely ignore Sam's Bar Lounge, all the videos of him being abusive. We're going to completely ignore the shut up and leave. We're going to completely ignore all of the streams of me coming on and bawling my eyes out and people telling me to leave the jerk because he's an abuser. We're going to ignore all that. We're going to ignore... In hindsight, here's what I can say. I don't give a damn about any of the streams where she came out crying. Because we saw, like, for example, with the poop incident, she will always come out crying. Crying is what she does. She has to be the victim, even if she's the bad guy. No matter the situation, she's the victim. I don't give a damn if she came out crying. That means nothing to us. Sam's bar lounge videos had nothing at all to do with Chantal. If the only isolated incident is him telling you to shut up and leave. Yikes. And don't think that's me defending him. I'm just pointing out what was shown to us 
on camera. We saw him whack the back of her neck and the shut up and leave thing. He's an all around absolute piece of shit. But the fact that she keeps bringing up things like the Sam's Bar Lounge videos and stuff, that had nothing to do with her. Why do you bring that up as anything to do with your story? It really, it's nothing to do with your story. If you bring that up as part of to do with your story, why don't you talk about the fact that he went to jail for two years minus a day for shanking two people? If the Sam's Bar Lounge videos aren't anything to do with you, that's also nothing to do with you. You never really mentioned that though, eh? Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Or all of that. All right. But I'm the one who has an impression. I'm the one who formed that impression of him. No, 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 no. I don't think so. He is the one. Amber he was a helpless. Thank you for the super chat. Imagine, imagine it sounding this scripted and rehearsed and it's still this God awful. Set the stage for how people perceive him. All right. I just want y'all to focus He's literally on. an abuser sympathizer. Real quick. Incel behavior. We're taking the word of Dee Dee and Nad. This Known liars. On April 1st, when I was in Cuba, what did they do? They came online and said Natchard was in jail. They've lied so many times about so many things. It's on camera. It's on video. Just like you. All of you deserved each other. Don't think they're any different than you, Chantal. Scatman Salad, thank you for the super chat. 100%. Yo, like what the heck? This man is taking the word of these two. <laughs> Regardless how you feel about these two. Exactly. He's you take the word of Foodie Beauty. You lick the asshole of Foodie Beauty. You take everything she says as gospel. What's different between you and him exactly? Jojo, thank you for the super chat. You took a break from Chantal after the poop gate. Yeah, she did kind of get boring after Boopgate. But yeah, it's been exciting for the last three days. Taking the word at ease too. Look at Gorlick. Show yourself, Gorlick. Pathetic. Wow. Every word you hanging on, huh? From them two. The divers of the month? Them YouTube lover. Chantal, they ignore what's convenient. Same reason they ignore the fact that Shannon's daughter assaulted elderly people. Assaults elderly people. Oh. Yeah, they ignore. They ignore. Exactly. They twist and turn things. They ignore everything. What? What, what are you talking about? Why would you bring... <sighs> You're bringing up Shannon's kid in Girl World? What are you even talking about about Shannon's kid? What the fuck is this? The Beezers are as sick as she is. Chantal, you're disgusting. Oh, my God. When Shannon told me the story... Oh, my God, Shannon, you, and you just pop in to hear that. What fucking timing. When Shannon told me the story that Chantal had literally held her daughter... Before she held her daughter. Uh, it just, it makes you even more mad. How could she like fuck around with that when you were that close? You know, it's so fucking sick to me. I will never understand that. Where's your 100K? Thank you for the super chat. Hello. To fit their narrative, 100%. It's crazy. Go ahead. He claims that Foodie attempted to cite matter was just a one night stand. But oh, 100% like have a sue, mom. It's very visible. Thank you for the super chat. This foodie spending all hours, day and night, chasing after him. Chasing after him? You, oh my God, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I can't, I can't deal with it. Well, what the fuck would you call it? Was he going city to city chasing after you? Absolutely not. He never even came to your home like that. The paperclip thing was all bullshit. You were the psycho bouncing city to city four times a week, chasing after a crackhead who never wanted you, never claimed you. And at a certain point, you were chasing after somebody who was Dee Dee's common law spouse. That didn't stop you, though, did it? Dee Dee infers that Chantal described Natter in that. It's called manipulating and love bombing. Why is it the most ignorant people who have never been? He never loved bomb you. I remember this back before we even used to do live streams. When I used to do my react videos, that was part of what really blew my mind in the dynamic between them. And in hindsight, should have been a red flag of like, no, this isn't really like a, a DV situation like that. There was never any love bombing. He just treated her like shit consistently. He would treat her like shit and she would come running back. And as she would come running back, he was still treating her like shit. There was no love bombing there. No. Tay Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. In an abusive relationship, have the most to say about it. Rage video as, quote, bossy, dom, and pushy. See, what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't noticed. What? What's happening here is, Gorlick Bread is trying to bring them two back. He's using my former abuser and his new girlfriend as a mouthpiece to try to say what he wants to say about me. 
That's exactly what he's doing. Oh my God. No one cares. Thank you for the super chat. I totally forgot about that. That feels like a lifetime ago. The puff and paint. We never did it, but I really, really want to. Thanks for reminding me. Damn. X just saying thank you for the super chat. I love you, girl gang spirit. Why, thank you. And thank you for being here. He's trying to help their channel out. Been, it's been doing exactly what yep. we all been wanting that channel to do. Disappear. Yep. 11 viewers, two people in the chat. Nobody's watching. That's what we all been waiting for. Ever since Gary got copyrighted like crazy and the guy's been going around copywriting all these channels, all we've ever wanted was, okay, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it destroy itself. Let it. Can I skip ahead? Okay, now, now I want to skip ahead. This is just this guy obsessing, repeating what other people in Girl World say. All we've ever said, you don't go here. You're not part of the we. You're not the collective in this community. Fuck all the way off, slow mama. Rabbit, rabbit sugar, thank you for the super chat. Posing solo for engagement photos. Right? Right? Let it in. Mm -hmm. Play Sam's Bar Lunch, but I, I I encourage you all who have any ounce of sympathy for this idiot to go and watch those videos. Sam's Bar Lounge. Go watch them because I can assure you every ounce of behavior he's ever displayed for me, he did for Didi on that camera. And that's exactly how he is. I would bet you, I would bet you that there's a long list of domestic violence charges uh, that um, his ex, who's not with us anymore, rest in peace, has against him. I can guarantee you because he. Why are you bringing up his ex? Oh my God, Chantal, how low are you? Like, why, why would you bring that up now? For the longest time, you wouldn't even admit that he had shanked her. Now you're trying to bring her up as some kind of like what? A sympathy play on your side? Some kind of argument for you? Don't talk about her. Ever, 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 ever. Disgusting. Astro Fett, thank you for the super chat. McStabbin will always be her destiny. Yikes. He, you know, once an abuser, always an abuser, especially a narcissistic abuser, because narcissists don't believe that they have anything wrong with them, which is why he's still on YouTube to this. That's all you. I mean, very much him also, but it was a narc who met a narc when you two met each other. You never think you do anything wrong. That's you. Have a Sue mom. Thank you for the super chat. Absolutely can't. Mm -mm. Day, still trying to clear his name and try to run me down. And it's just people see through it. You know, alhamdulillah, they do. But... Pfft. Anyway, thank you for the super chat, G. It's so true. Yeah, he literally says, if Stephine, she alive today, she'll be dead if she goes to the cops. Yeah, sure. Just try it. Just try it, buddy. Besides you. Like you like to say, you'd be a poster on the ground. You know, matter through Chantal. I need $150. I'm at a hardware store. My boss needs supplies. I need them now. You're like, yellow, give me supply. Are you kidding? This guy was a master. It was a pathological liar. He was a crackhead. What the hell did you expect? But you had never dealt with people or experienced anything in life. So you didn't know. And you were the only one who couldn't see what was going on. Some lunatic calls you. Pretends to be at a Home Depot. My boss needs money for supplies? Crackhead. Remember, too, these calls happen after she goes to his house, finds the meth pipe, and smokes what's inside of it. After that, he's calling her for rando money. But it's his fault. It's he's a crackhead. I, do you really blame the crackhead for the fact that the crackhead is begging money for crazy reasons? And uh, and what? Hold on. <sighs> okay, yeah. Aid. And if you were watching during this time frame, there is some reality to this. <laughs> <laughs> he's believing every word from the nad. I'm letting y'all watch this. I'm letting y'all. I'm letting it play because I'm showing. You guys, listen, you guys got the wrong idea about that. You guys got the wrong idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, G. Yes. Oh, my God. I have such a bad headache. Oh, my God. I just need to turn the sound off for a second. His voice cackling, her fucking shisha going, and now the, the donation thing. My head is going to explode. Sarah Bear, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yes, girl. Same. Oh, my God. My heart is racing right now. Ah, oh, this is a lot. This is like overstimulation. God damn it. Let's skip ahead. I can't stand this. I don't care about the story of Koki. I don't give a damn. I don't listen to Gorlick Bread like that. And I know these two just, they hate each other. Of course, he's going to go the hardest for Gorlick Bread. God damn. Oh, no. Are we real time now? Oh, no. 
I'm sorry to announce we have now reached real time, which means there's no more watching in 1.5 speed. Shit's about to get slower. <laughs> Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. She couldn't bend over to pick up the pipe now. <laughs> You're right. Bloop. Driveway. Okay. And he saw me when I was in the driveway. Anytime I was in the driveway at Dudu's condo, I saw him. And I don't know if that was the day I picked him up. And he told her, he lied to her and she's still with him. He told her that he's just going to go talk to me and try to, you know, he ended up going to a hotel that day. So what are you trying to prove? I looked through his kitchen window once because this guy was telling me, I want to see you every day. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you soon. Like he was feeding me a bunch of lies and they're making me look like the obsessed. No, 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 no. She's now attempting to rewrite the night of the attempted B and E. That's not what happened. The night of the attempted B and E, Koki had told her that he wasn't going to be available that night. That he had friends coming from Montreal and they were going to be hanging out. She knew that. She knew that. She got jealous at a certain point and went a little nuts and started messaging him over and over and over and over and over and over and he just ignored the shit out of her and screened her messages and calls for hours and she was on live stream she was oh my god she had her two phones she was trying to like you know block her number and call she really thought she was clever at a certain point he still didn't answer and she started losing her shit and the the chat gassed her up a little bit you know got her jealousy going and before you knew it she was taken off. And as she huffed and puffed down the stairs, she was going, what, you have to give all your attention to me? How could you not give all your attention to me? That's where that came from. She was so mad that he, you know what? Okay, listen, in hindsight, we all know he was fucking around. But at, that was at the beginning of this fucking, like, them too, right? The guy tells you, I'm busy tonight. She's like, okay. And she flips the fuck out. Like, he doesn't have to answer your calls. He told you he's busy. She lost it and went and peeped in his window. Have a Sue mom. Thank you again for the super chat. That's one. Okay. Purely motivated by jealousy mm. because Natter was with you. Motivated she by jealousy. Convinced herself okay. through Google searches that she was a statistic now. Okay. And you know, that very much is true. Um, do you not remember? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? It's even on video of him, them lying to me. Did they ever admit to being in a relationship until way after I stopped seeing him? Remember that stream? Dee Dee's my girlfriend. Before that? They were friends. They were long-term friends. Why do you think they kept that facade up, you stupid incel? Because they didn't want me to know that they were sleeping together because he couldn't manipulate me anymore after that. Lies. They were both manipulative liars. And if you're sleeping with someone else and not telling the person you're sleeping with, that's disgusting. That's exactly what he would do. He would sleep with every homeless person. Remember the homeless person on the board? But everybody told you. Everybody could see what was going on. You didn't want to see it. You knew damn right. Come on, man. That whole, they had known each other for years. That was such bullshit. They only told you that so you keep paying him as, you know, the rent money and the drug money and stuff. You were actually paying for like him and Dee Dee's party. How sad. Serena Elizabeth, thank you for the super sticker, cool. He was a liar. The fact that you're trying to use an abuser, liar, manipulator as someone to one up me, you're disgusting and vile, just like him. You're just like him. Congratulations. Right. She loves to say, well, most people return, most victims return. Mm -hmm. And Didi says that Chantal does this with much of her life. Right. That, that she has a track record of knowing that she has an issue. Mm -hmm. But rather than it. What? Daft Pecan? You're really daft. You can't show up to someone's house and knock on their door? Are you joking? That's stupid. Press it. She didn't knock on the door. She peeked in the window. Just search out a justification <laughs> for why it's okay for her to have the reaction she does. Mm. You know what, Chantal? If the behavior wasn't so batshit crazy, you wouldn't have to. Oh, no to lie about it y'all it's pouring fucking rain and all the lights in my house just flickered um we're gonna go for as far as we can go and if the power goes out i'll see you later why would she go back to him if she truly feared her diabetes are you kidding if she feared him why would she go back to him so you're saying that people no, thank you again for the chat. leave the first time they're ever abused do you not know that you can use google since you're on your computer all day long doing nothing with your life you can go and look at the statistics of abused women and see that they go back. It takes at least seven times to leave an abuser. Seven. But you're going to be, you know, a moron in this case and just pretend like you don't know anything. All right. Diabetes, why would she eat this way? It's called an eating disorder. Again, you daft moron. You think that all fat people one day wake up and realize, oh, I have to change my... Your whole bullshit about the statistics about women, or I'm sorry, of like victims leaving the DV relationship and stuff is a moot point because you were never in a relationship.
You had someone else's man treating you like shit and you still did everything to try to make him yours. You're so gross. My eating habits. Do you know that like the percentage of the world being overweight is very large? Do you know that it's, oh my God. Oh. Right. It's right. called food addiction and eating disorder. I've showed my medical records. I've been to an eating disorder clinic. I've documented my issues with food my whole time that I've been on YouTube. That's why. Go back to a man. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Women don't usually do that, but yeah, you're right. You can't so say just... Go back to implies you were ever with. Gentle Ginger, thank you for the super chat. Ask just... can what you would or wouldn't do in that situation. Because I'll tell you right now, I was always the same way. I was always saying, I always thought women who were abused were weak and who went back. We had a woman, we could hear her screaming down the street when I was growing up, clearly being abused by her husband. She would have bruises, this and that. And I would always say, mom, and my mom called the cops on this loser a lot. And guess what? She didn't want to press charges, so the cops did nothing. That's why they changed the law not long ago that it's up to the crown now. So I would always say, mom, why is... Tell us you watch us without telling us you watch us. You didn't know about that whole changing of the law and the fact that now the crown picks up the charges. You didn't know that. How are you spewing that now? Oh, we just mentioned it two days ago over here. I mean, we used to mention it during Crackhead Olympics all the time, but this was just mentioned over here two days ago. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Cheekbones. Thank you for the super chat. A generator. Oh, that's fancy. This woman, she's such an idiot. Why doesn't she just leave? He hit her. That daft pecan show is really just how daft you are and ignorant. She's here to, to tell you guys what was talking about. And I think... Why are you telling us what was talked about on one side? Yeah. Like we care what their opinions are exactly. or what they got to say. Exactly. We already made. You're making claims about an abusive relationship. Relationship You're making, try to make the woman look bad for your own gain, your own narrative against somebody you don't like. You're a disgusting human. You're not even human. All of Gore World could get nuked off of this platform and the world would be a better place. Hate our mind up about them. They don't, listen, listen, Gordon. They don't like hearing the truth. Exactly, Ellie. Thank you. Our opposite opinions than yeah. what their beliefs are. If anybody steps out of pocket and talks about them in a way that they don't like, they turn around and wants the cop hit up YouTube like the fucking police. But then turn around Oops. on their channel and talk shit about you on your channel and react to you on your channel. That guy has a video of reacting to me on his channel and he expected me to reply. So if I reply, then he'll hit up YouTube and go, YouTube, man, YouTube. See, I'm not no snitch. I'm not no, I'm not no, that's some, that's some women shit, right? That's what he do. He's so dumb. Remember. That's some women shit. Oh, this guy is such a fucking idiot. God damn it. You roll around in girl world and you're talking about what is and isn't women shit. Patricia Thomas, number two. Booty thing. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Remember, my woman walked past here. Just her side view. My woman walked past here on my channel. This nigga did a celebration stream, bro. Hold on. I heard something about cow buying meals from him and company, then convinced herself they're in a relationship. Who, with Koki? No, she just like paid his rent and paid his drugs and he had sex with her every once in a while and never claimed her, but she convinced herself they were about to get married and bought herself an engagement ring. He did a whole- Do you acknowledge you ignored red flags? Yes, of course, Susie. You think that any woman in an abusive relationship um, doesn't ignore some red flags? You act like I'm the only person um, who, who ignores red flags? Like, I don't know what your point is. I don't know. But anyway. All right, where were we? Who has, ah, oh, you got you, yo mama, your wife just walked by. We got a photo. And no he way, thought, yo mama, whenever your wife walked I by, <laughs> I was like, oh no, oh no. They're going to have a field day with that. Like, they have nothing to say. Your wife is very pretty. Like, I don't know why people are so stupid and obsessed, but they have nothing else. Now you know how I feel. Do like <laughs> this whole song and dance and get mad and get you angry. You red flags, you ignore you them. Yeah, you just think, like, exactly, exactly. And you know what? No, sorry. You asked me if I ignore. There's nowhere to skip. We're watching in real time. Uh -huh. The red flags. How vile somebody is. As long as they're against me, they could get away literally with threatening to kill women, abusing women. Oh and my so on, so God, Chantal, can you move the fuck on? God oh, damn it. I'm, just, I'm muting her. I'm not even pausing. It's not worth a pause. Crackhead Olympics ended years ago. You have supposedly been married for over a year now. When do you stop? Shows me 
that what people said about you before I got here was absolutely correct. You used to suck up to that person over there. Mm -hmm. You, you used to gobble, gobble, too. and you're doing it right now. Watching you, watching you do it is un Watching you with Natural helped me leave my abuser because it made me realize how it looked from the outside. It killed me when you wouldn't leave him. But I understood why. And uh, why you waiting? Oh, I'm so... Actually, Blue Pot, I'm so happy that you left. Trisha Bo Bishop, so, we can't dip yet. She hasn't gotten to us yet. <laughs> but go ahead. There's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. But a lot of what Didi is saying is rational, rational Hi, to how Chantal acts. And Didi actually says, listen, she would have been much better served. You're taking a word of D? Yeah. You're taking a word of the D? Yeah. This is the same person that was a beezer. And then saw Chantel with a man and was like, oh, yeah. I want that. Yeah. I want that. I love your, I love your you rock. You can't have that all to know. yourself. <laughs> and then turned around and got this dude. Got this dude. Taking. And then they lied about it. Why lie about it then? If you're not liars. Lied about being friends. And I believed that. I believed that he never once cheated until I saw those bar lounge videos. That is red flag delusional. Yes, 100. Oh, you are such a fucking idiot. If you didn't think Koki cheated on you until you saw the Sam's bar lounge videos that came out long after that you had nothing to do with them anymore, you're crazier than I ever thought, Chantel. For real, for real. Wow. Bubble Guts, thank you for the super chat. Doesn't she shit talk DD for the same thing? Absolutely. All the time. All the fucking time. It's wild. Absolutely wild. The two of them, in my opinion, wild. Because, number one, Chantal pretends like Koki was some angel to her at the beginning. And like, oh, I didn't see those red flags. I, I, just, I fell so deeply in love with him. He was like the perfect guy. That never existed. The first encounter between them, she goes live the morning, the, the next morning from the villa. She's coked out of her mind, a wreck, okay? And she tells us during that stream that, no, there could never be anything between me and this guy. He's so controlling. He seems very controlling. Like, red flags existed already on encounter number one between the two of them. He was a piece of shit consistent from day one. There was no, like... Oh, I don't know, like a, a phase where he made her fall in love and yada, yada, yada. None of that. Absolutely none of that. He showed his true colors from the beginning. She chose to either like it, ignore it. She was getting high and getting fucked so she could care less, you know? Sick. Dee Dee, same fucking thing. She can't say, oh, no, I didn't know who he was. Dee Dee was a beezer. Dee Dee saw the same streams. Dee Dee found out about the shankings like the rest of us did and his past and blah, blah, blah. And Dee Dee liked it the most. The two of them are insane to me. I will never understand that for the life of me. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. I will stand by saying she was not in a DV relationship because A, it wasn't an actual relationship and B, mutual abuse between her and uh, financially and Koki. Fair percent oh my address what's actually causing and me problem. having diabetes doesn't need to be tied into being an abuse victim yes i was a victim Dee, Dee is a victim may was a victim delphine was a victim what are you trying to prove that's so interesting isn't it Dee, Dee the one that you wished harm on at the hands of the man that you claim was your abuser uh, Delphine, the woman that you claimed sort of never, never, not never existed, but definitely never got shanked. That whole thing never existed. There was nothing to do with her. Uh, who's the other one? I don't even fucking remember, but that's the point. Every exam, oh, May, May <laughs> the other one, I forget. May, the one where you tried to give him a false alibi. Yeah. Now you're bringing up those names to what, be the victim? Surround yourself with people who potentially are his victims because you're not one. We don't think of you as one. Financially, do I consider her a victim? I wouldn't even say so. Nobody forced her to do a goddamn thing. Everything she did, everything she paid, everything was about trying to control Koki and trying to make him be with her, claim her, whatever. She controls people with money. It's why she used to turn on and turn off his phone and things like that. Like, it's the only way in her mind, the only thing she had like over someone. You're just proving yourself to be an incel, an abuser, sympathizer. Problem. Right. 
And Natter says to that point, Chantal cannot prove. You're ta you're using that my was abuser. Maya, that's awesome. Thank you for the super chat and the update. Voice piece. Like, does nobody see anything wrong with that? Is demanding of her at all. Now, this is kind oh of where God. I think they lose their point a little bit because they tough talk from the guy from the guy who takes his mom to Victoria's Secret. That'll never get old. Oh, what is this? One of those real life dolls. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Pissy Poo, did you hear that? She just took a, a shot. Oh, what is this? One of those real life dolls? Those dolls are Pissy Poo's whole life. <laughs> Pissy Poo just probably shed a little tear. The way Chantal said, ew, what is this? <laughs> Love that. Cali Cat, thank you for the super chat. You think so? Maybe. I hope this, this part ends soon. I'm just, I'm done with the story. Move on to the next one. You know what I mean? You you, you can tell how much uh, Slow Mama hates garlic bread just by how long we have been on this little segment here. It's insane. Boom shakalak. Thank you again for the super chat. She did it. She made it back down to 98,999. Wow. Do we have to congratulate her again when she gets to 100K? <laughs> I'm not. The return of Veronica Sawyer. Thank you for the super chat. Chins leave Dee Dee's husband alone. <laughs> Yikes. You're going to make her cry, ghoul. I cuddle cats like you for the super chat. Hey, Chantal, congrats on the 98999. I love that. Oh, my God. You guys are funny. Really funny. And I'm sure she's very, very butthurt about it. That's what happens when you try and cheat your way to your legacy, Chantal. It all blows up in your fat face. Bloop, bloop. Maria, thank you for the super chat. Just got here. What did you miss so far? <sighs> Chantal is not really reacting. She's just playing a slow mama video. Excuse me. Thank you, El Petit. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> they, they try to paint this picture that, you know, Natter was just this unwilling participant in this. She lost the 2K because uh, Takat blew up yesterday. And she said, you know, damn you, Miriam, and everything. And she was telling the same audience that she had said, go over to Miriam and sub to her channel and stuff. She now told them, fuck Miriam. She's a fucking asshole. Unsub to Miriam. And they did. But what? Being abuse of a woman. Just because you don't like her, because I call out your crappy man let behavior. Go cry in a corner. Go cry in the basement. Stan, she had all this money. What are you to crying for? Your bills are paid for by your mommy. Spend. Oh. I wasn't. Bitch, yours will be soon too. Stop. Doing anything by way of manipulation. To me, it's just a little bit much. You know, we're never going to know the truth, okay? That, that's oh, then probably why are you talking the reality on it? of it. But Chantal was making large amounts of money. She was trying to keep Natter, win Natter over. And really? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I never, he never said, give me money or I'm going to leave you. Never, 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 never. He asked for help because he's a bum. I need cigarettes. Can you buy me cigarettes? There was always an excuse why he needed money because he was putting it up his nose. With you. Why did you give him cigarettes? Why did you keep buying the blow? Because you would do the blow and then have sex. You enjoyed the party too. Stop trying to remove yourself from that. Oh, he put it up his nose. Her nose stayed clean, 100%. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And and let's be mindful that just because Natter wants to say, hey, I wasn't demanding anything. Well, he certainly wasn't rejecting it either. Now they move on to May. And Dee Dee does make a, a very good point about May. Yeah, of course she does make a great point. Right, Nat, uh, right, garlic bread? <laughs> oh. Bro, this was a yeah, suck sure. fest, man. This was ridiculous. <laughs> and she made a great point. <laughs> of course she did. Of course, garlic. Mm -hmm. Of course. When mm -hmm. you suck and you sucking, huh? <laughs> yeah. She made a great point. And Chantal, and this honestly just goes beyond me. It goes with anyone. You know, when Chantal is on someone's side, right. she'll downplay and act as if nothing could happen. But the mm -hmm. instant they're against her, all of a sudden, it now it happened. Now they're the worst person. What? And the reality, 100%. Again, Natter and May are the only two that know what happened. And, and <sighs> okay, but whenever I said something like this, I was condoning. I wasn't believing the victim, right? And listen to all this crap.
You tried to give him a fake alibi. You lied. Lucky for us, you were live from the kitchen of the villa the night that this allegedly happened. So everybody knew that you were lying when you tried to give him that fake alibi. You, you, you didn't just say, oh, I don't believe this happened. You literally tried to give this criminal an alibi for S.A. Wow. He's saying. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so Natter and, and May was the only two that knew what happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Gorlick. Again, pattern of behavior. Here we go. Instant there against her. All of a sudden, it now it happened. Now they're the worst person. Here we and go. the reality, again, Natter and May are the only two that know what happened. Mm -hmm. and, and this was never Chantal's place to interject herself. Right. Yes, H. Roz, absolutely. Amber does try to control people with money, too. They do the same thing, the two of them. Um, I believe neither one of them thinks that they have anything to offer at all. No qualities, no nothing to like keep a partner. But Amber has made a lot of money on YouTube for a long time. And Chantal had her period where, you know, she could use money on a crackhead, right? So I, yeah, that's why they do it. It's like in their minds, the only thing they have to offer. And then they do things like, for example, make their significant other, or not make, but encourage the people in their lives to quit their jobs. So then they have to serve them to be taken care of. And they gain control like that. They both kind of play that same fucking game. What? What do you mean interject myself? I was going to be potentially used as a friggin' key witness. I was there that day. He never told me that day, that day, that he was seeing this person. I only found out after. That's 100% not true. And it, yeah, like Badzid said, thank God for the archive. What she just said is a bull-faced lie with the hijab on about an alleged SA. Okay? You didn't find out about their meeting after the fact. How do we know that? Because the night that it allegedly happened again and you were mad because he had plans and you were streaming from the kitchen of the villa. You told us that he was going out with a beezer on that night, meeting up with a beezer. And you were very angry about that and jealous. So don't now try to turn around and say that you only found out after the fact you knew damn right. So you're going to say I interjected myself? No, 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 no. I could have been good never having the person I thought loved me uh sa another woman while i'm at home eating olives and thinking everything is copacetic oh this guy is disgusting but we do know you're a sewer it wasn't chantel's place to interject herself wasn't she like the yeah. key witness yeah i was the, they wanted to use me as that <laughs> no key witness would imply that she was there she could have been the key witness to what just confirm that yes she knew he had an encounter with a member of the audience on that day, but she denied the whole thing and tried to say that he was with her. She had put up fake uh, screenshots and everything. That's also why we never believe her screenshots because she kept trying to convince us that that was true, what she was saying. But again, she was so cracked out consistently at the time. She forgot that she had been live that night. The archive doesn't forget, thank God. Nil, thank you for the super chat. She does sound high right now. Ha! Huh. Okay, Gorlick. Go ahead. Never Chantel's place to interject herself. Right. But we do know that she's know? done that. Mm -hmm. And okay. we can't change what happened mm -hmm. between Natter and May. But we can't... But, but. Go shuffle your Did baseball cards. Did he just cards. say we can't change what oxygen. happened? Let's move on. We can't change what happened? Really? <laughs> That's your stance right now, dog? You're talking to a bunch of women and you're saying, we, 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 we can't, we, we, whatever happened there, it happened. And we can't change what happened, but we can't change what happened. They all, Move like, on. where are they even going with this May thing? They all like to, um, act like, um, I'm responsible for what happened to May. I gave him an alibi. 
no, 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 no. I told you at the time what he told me happened, which wasn't true. Yes, you told us what you what he had said happened after the fact. Your first instinct was to lie, to give him that alibi. Then only when we told you that's not true, you were live the night of this alleged alibi, it's impossible what you're saying. Then you started telling us the story that he had told you about that night and running down the hall of the hotel and blah, blah, blah. It was a whole cockamamie story, but that story came after you attempted to give him that alibi. Like the times the timeline was different. Like they're so stupid. Hold on. I have to use the bathroom. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. No. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just taking his face off the screen until she comes back. This is the slowest thing of all time. Hold on. We're a tiny bit behind. Is she back? Oh, okay. We were so far behind. It was a couple of minutes. She's back. They believe that this channel gave Foodie Beauty 800 subs with no proof. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about in Girl World, right? Any success that Foodie Beauty makes, mm -hmm. and if they if they think it's because of somebody else, they'll attack that person. Yeah. Not only this is the weird paradox, all right, of Girl World, they'll go and attack this poor Takat lady. And I don't care if she said thing. I don't care what's on the screen, what she said about me. I don't care if she blames me. I don't care. She probably doesn't have ex an experience with these, these vultures, all right? These hate vultures. They'll go and they'll attack this person for supporting me and me trying to support them. And then they'll blame it on me and say... Oh, well, see how Foodie Beauty reacts? She doesn't care that she's being attacked. What? What am I supposed to do? What am, what am I supposed to do? Warn the woman what a piece of shit community you come from? And when she shows up in your chat angry, fake some sympathy for her. You didn't give a shit. Again, you had reached your little legacy goal of 100K before you get to be 40 years old and whatever. You didn't think you needed her anymore, but that kind of backfired today, didn't it? Wah, wah. What am I supposed to do about haters going and attacking people for no reason but to make me look bad? Please blame yourselves. I love the face she's making in that picture. I'm going to use that picture, the picture in our thumbnail today. I'm going to use that picture so many times. It makes me laugh so hard. I love it. Frenchie gives Yabba the key. I thank you again for the super chat. Chins equals only abuse victim who stalked her abuser, right? You ever heard of that before in your life? The other documentary that came out, none of these promotions have anything to do with Foodie Beauty gaining subs. Try growing your channel without me, baked potato. Let's see how far you get. Yeah. It was because she went to one channel and did a sub for sub. And they don't even got the capability to have eight on, but whatever. Go yeah. ahead. Takat is saying Miriam Takat is not her friend. Saying. She doesn't know her. She did get Miriam so Miriam showed day. up in her channel last week. Oh, I'm the big potato. Of course, I should have known. Asking her to get her subscriber no, count did. up to 100,000. I never went in there and said, I need to let, let, Please bring my uh, subscribers to 100K. I mentioned that that's how much I needed. And we were just. No, you asked. Please, like, please help me get to 100K. Anybody who doesn't believe it, go over to Twitter and check Mo translates. She translates and she translated. And that's how we know. That's exactly what. Well, I shouldn't say you asked because it clearly wasn't you writing. It was in perfect fluent Arabic. You had your little incel writing for you discussing like that subject but no i didn't beg anybody for subscribers again why would i go in a chat that has 30 subscribers begging so she tried to help miriam and then it turned into a disaster hold on since uh since this person doesn't like to show themselves but has a lot of crap to talk i'm gonna show you i'm gonna put a picture on the screen of her so let's just get this here um oops Nope, that's her. Uh, that's her boyfriend. Sorry about that. Oh, we need to. We need to. Uh... 
I was gonna say that's my man's bitch. Get my man's off your screen. Don't be doxing my boyfriend. A uh, hide garlic breath. Um, let's see. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where's the picture of what's her face? Oh, nope, that's not her. Where? That's right, Bunny Angel. Exactly. She did have. She has something like thirty-two thousand subs. I think even more, thirty-seven thousand. It was something like that. We checked yesterday. It's not even about the number of subs. It's the type of community that she is a part of. It's exactly what everyday Miriam was going for. That's why she changed her name from Foodie Beauty. That's why she deleted all the content from her channel that was from before the hijab. She was trying to really pretend to be like a Muslima housewife, da, 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 trying to tap into that type of audience. This woman, it wasn't even just about like the, the 35 people who are active in her chat. It's the views she gets after the fact. It's the community that she's a part of. And if they do this sub for something, I mean, she knew exactly what the fuck she was doing. This has been a play for a few weeks. Ever since she changed her name from Foodie Beauty, it all made sense. You know what I mean? When this whole thing came out with the Takat thing, like everybody say, why would she change her name now? Her, her plaque won't say Foodie Beauty and stuff. Now it's just like, ah, it all made sense. Taz D, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Here's the picture of her. Oh. I think that's her picture. Is that her? No, that's not her. Ah, oh, yeah, there she is. Okay, there she is. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's make this smaller. Oops. Let's make this smaller. We need to get this right here. All right. So this is the person talking. <laughs> All right. All right. In the beginning of this live stream, it sounded like people already knew uh, what was happening with Takat. I think she messaged some people How yesterday to tell them Tekat? about the comment. You're going to tell me that this person who's clearly chain smoking because they have the raspiest voice in Gore World um, is not chain smoking cigarettes in front of her pets and then has the nerve to say that I do it? Okay. You've been smoking the shisha for, oh, we've been live for almost two hours now? You've been smoking the fr 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 that fucking shisha for two hours, and we know damn right you're in that fucking living room, scooched over like a walrus with the cat right next to you. Shut up. Comments. She was going on uh, on her channel about Miriam. The cat is making sure everyone unsubs from Miriam. Oh At no! At one point, the cat. Oh no! All of the four subs I made said it. Uh, oh no! Uh, sorry. Have you looked at your social blade? I'm sure you have, Chantal. Four subs, my ass. Takat said oh, an expression. Oh, no. And Takat doesn't like me. Somebody I have no idea even who the heck they are or what part of the world they live in. Oh, sorry. Well, no, no, no. You know damn right. Or your fake husband does. One of you knows. That's why you went over there. That's why you took the time to ask her to help you get to 100K. All in Arabic, by the way. You have a one-up on me there. I'll take the L, big potato. Arabic equivalent to, God damn you, Miriam. God damn oh. you. By the way, about my first tweet. How does anyone listen to three hours of that voice? How? In this said, it was funny. Blah, 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 blah. One time we hung out, she well, so you know, stopped in at my mom's and she explained to my mom that like she pops over to uh, Saudi Arabia. No, it's not Saudi Arabia. I've never been to Saudi Arabia. But basically she just. <laughs> what does that mean? Sweet Papa Stovepipe. Thank you for the super chat. Glad I could be here live. Thank you for being here. I come from a potato men's channel. I don't know what that means, but I love it. <laughs> and that exposed me to Girl World and it's hilarity. A potato man's channel. Welcome. <laughs> it pops across the border. Never. Er a couple days while her visa was uh while her visa renews okay and what does uh ah! big potato have to make girl world ireland of course potato man okay it all makes sense now forgive me <laughs> rachel thank you for the super chat like an entire stream about that yes at one point i did that okay 
interesting. Mm. So oh. while she was in Canada visiting, they went to visit Pete's mom. I wonder why hasn't FFG gone see uh, Pete yet? I just don't. Yeah, know. really. Because he, would, <laughs> he, he wouldn't even give her the time of day. People try to ship her and Pete's. He would never in a million years. <laughs> Oh, people try to ship. What? One lunatic came in the chat once. So I ship FFG and Pete's girl. No, Chantal, that, that was your fiance. That's for you. All for you. You know, I mean, y'all friends, right? You saw him at the fashion show. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, because she was spending time with Pete behind Salad's back. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so they go. Tell us more, Pete. Talk to us. Tell us more, Pete. What else happened in that visit? Over to Pizza's mom to chill. Uh -huh. And she's discussing with Pizza's mom how she does her visa runs. Okay, and? Okay. Thank you so much, Pete. You know, a lot of times Pete gives us those little nugs. It's happened so many times over the... Little nugs of nothing. Like, what? what is the big deal? Seriously, what is the one up here? Anyone? No, exactly. Here's, of oh. Course oh, he gives you little nugs, huh? What did he give you after that fashion show? Talk to me. FFG, talk to me nicely though, because you was really up on them at that fashion show though. Hey, Pete, why don't you cheer a little bit more? I cheer. Listen, this woman has a lot to say about me having to buy love. There's nobody, even she would have to pay for even phone intimacy because listen to her voice. There's nothing attractive about this person at all on any level. Do it, I'm cheering more than you. That's why, that's why. Her boyfriend is this. This is her lumberjack. This is her boyfriend. But she has a lot. First of all, let me point out that the brawny guy is fucking hot. Chantal, you wish. I wish. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that an insult? Why is that an insult? The brawny man? I will take the brawny man. You would take the brawny man. Pete's would take the brawny man. Fucking slow mama would take the brawny man. What the fuck are you think you're doing right now? You, oh, di well, damn, Lisa Bear. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Shit. She's insane. No one would ever knit. <laughs> you're fake married to an incel who has still never touched you and yet wanted to shit on one of your beezers. Okay. You had to pay a crackhead to touch you before that. The crackhead with the gano. Gave you the gano twice. That that's a little gift for you. Shut up. You you can't get on top. You get winded like taking sips of water. What exactly do you think you're good for besides, well, I would say Canadian citizenship Canadian citizenship, what? Canadian citizenship, but you haven't been able to make good with that either. Hmm? Literally good for nothing. Neil, thank you for the super chat. She always skips through your reacts. Wonder why. Yeah, can't take it to say about everyone else's relationships right all right yeah 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 okay and you're her best friend <laughs> yeah you know what big potato at least i travel and i got to border hop into another country you border hop to stalk me at a dispensary you go to court <laughs> you're using that as like a plus now well, you, at least you get to border hop. Yeah, you know, the beauty of uh, immigration done correctly, you know, the way my both both of my parents did, is that I don't have to border hop. I came here because my parents did it right. No border hopping for me. I don't, I don't see where that's a plus for you. Wow, you've gone all the way to Kuwait to live in a shitbox in the sky. Oh, nope, sorry, it's not a shitbox. He won't shit on you. With an incel freak. Is it the fact that you've been on a plane? Do you think that's a flex? Who the fuck? Well, I should say who the fuck hasn't been on a plane, but she knows damn right I'm an immigrant. I'm not from the States. I think it's fair to assume I've been on a plane a few times in my life. She's fucking insane. But most people don't see that as some kind of flex. Just, just her, because I guess she never thought she would. Pumpkin Princess, thank you again for the super chat. Cornwall. And live in my shadow again. So wh what's your... Listen, fat ass, half of the planet lives in your shadow. You're one up here. No, Pete. Go ahead. Have to have it confirmed like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I just I love really... the casual way he confirms it, too, because he doesn't even realize he's saying let's say, something so he shouldn't say, something he she doesn't want him to say. No, 
he's just speaking off the cuff. You know what I mean? And I okay, love that. Yeah. I love that. And you pick, Damn, you still prove nothing. Good. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. He really is coming back into Kuwait for all you know. I came back in with a different visa. Melly. We'll find out soon. If you really, truly have a different visa, you won't have to visa hop again at the beginning of April. We'll see. People in chat want you to address saying 56 is old. What? I did? When? <laughs> Melly, thank you. Holics. Thank you for the super chat, girl. 56 was old. No, 56 is not old. Elder? You call Dee Dee old? And she's like, I, I believe 48. So if you think 48 is old, you certainly think 50 something is old. <laughs> Alec, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Really, I would say is like 80s. You know? No, sorry. I don't remember ever saying that. But did I? Sorry. <laughs> no, 56 is young. Look, I'm getting up there in age, okay? But you know what? The worst thing is I feel old at 40. I feel old at 40, okay? <laughs> I said my mom is elderly? When? You feel old at 40 because it's like, you know, your body age or whatever is like 95. That's why you feel so old at 40. Bitch, I'm the same age as you. I am a few months younger than you. I swear to God, I don't feel a day over 25 years old. I think that's pretty universal. If you get to our age and you have no kids like that, I feel, no offense, parents, but kids, it's like they make people grow up. So we never had to grow up because we didn't have kids like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't feel a day over 25 and she feels old. I would say it's the beatus. It's the this. It's the, it's the accumulation of all of those things, Chantal. Of course you feel old. Astro Fett, thank you for the super chat. No, no, I don't consider my mom elderly. Rebe, we demand an egg on legs impersonation. <laughs> Thank you, Rebe. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> idiot. Thank you, Rebe. Uh, thank you, guys. Melly. Hell yeah. <laughs> Give that brawny man a reason to need those paper towels. Priscilla, I'm with you, Bish. Thank you for the super chat. Rebe. He makes. All right. All that money she makes. And she still has an ugly ass carpet. The same ugly ass carpet she's had forever. Can't buy a freaking webcam. Do you think I'm jealous? Like seriously. You know, lunatic, people don't just throw out carpets all the time. I know that might sound crazy, but there's a thing in life called cleaning. You clean the things you own and then you can have them for years and years. You buy everything and it's disposable because you don't clean it. So if you had a carpet, what, you would just... Leave it down till it's filthy and then replace it with another one. Not everybody functions like that. But that's also why other people don't have two bankruptcies and not a pot to piss in or a dime in their pocket. You know, just saying. Look at this and look how she talks. You know, F and brain dead fried F and C-U-N-T. And she says, I rage and I'm pig mad. Do I, like seriously, even in my rage posts. Okay, so this this is a good one. Hater Tater, shout out Twitter. This is apparently <laughs> Hater Tater, shout out Twitter. This is a good one. The the good one that was debunked yesterday. Today is a good one. She's still making the point of something that was debunked yesterday. Such a good one. Shout out, big brain. Perseus, thank you for the super chat. A video, she's lied to her audience and they eat it up. They love, they're shit eaters. Um, this is the same carpet. Might be a different part of the carpet. Might be uglier and more ratty than before, but it's the same color scheme. And look at these fingers. They're so dangerous. Not at all the same color scheme. Different colors, different patterns. And your little buddy, shut out, had to do all kinds of uh, tuning the color to make them the same color. They admit it going back and forth with the other big brain, Hetake's dumbass daughter. Del, thank you for the super chat. Oh, is that right? 3.30 a.m. in Kuwait. The happy newlyweds. Ainty. What is that, a Coke nail? Anyway. No, honey, that's not a Coke nail. That's probably what you had, except you probably couldn't grow your nails because your body's so sick. Those are just long nails. 
<laughs> that I didn't have to pay for or have put on my fingers. They're not acrylics and they're not fake like anything you ever had. Jealous? She showed this picture on the right uh, talking about what, you know. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Girl. So a long time ago. So this carpet's more ratty now on the left. Um, and this little treat BBJ clearly doesn't like because when she likes treats, she gobbles them down. She was licking it a few times. Look how much she likes the treat. So she lies to her audience and says that, uh, hey, Shakespeare, she, she has no curtains. She says that uh, somebody, the person who has BBJ sent her this video, well, judging by your ugly ass carpet, it's you. It's you. Well, judging by how badly your eyes work, I would say the beatus has worked their way and is now affecting your vision. And you should probably go get your eyes checked. And considering you haven't had a pair of glasses made, oh, I want to say since about the year 2000, it might be time to get some new frames, new prescription. Beat his eyes. <laughs> Lil DuJour, thank you for the super chat. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. Um. So yeah, yeah. I'm really jealous of all the money you have. Yeah, okay. Seriously, I'm jealous of your life sitting obsessing over somebody and going to Cornwall obsessing about somebody. Uh, no, I go to Cornwall to buy my weed. Jealous. I buy my weed with money I have. Jealous. <laughs> I take the car that I own that I don't make payments on to drive my fat ass to Cornwall to buy said weed. Jealous. 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 Loser. Um hating you hate yourself so much that you can't even show your i also don't have to wait for youtube payday to buy my groceries or youtube payday to pay a crackhead's rent your face and looking at the picture on the left on the bottom corner it's easy to see why it's easy to see why you're one of those pathological liar weirdos in school who would lie about their life that they wish they had you know a lumberjack oh sorry people i don't i oh, wait people's boobs. <laughs> I'm not saying that right, girl. I don't have the picture here on the computer, but if you scroll back on my community tab, it's up there. It is 100% still up there. You have to go back a while though. The dogs were still alive. The story of that little sloth was that I saw it from a distance and I thought one of them had pooped on the carpet. So go scrolling back and you can 100% see it for yourself. Back, um, buying a house, all these other weird things you wish you had. And it's just why is buying a house weird to you? I think that's pretty normal. It's only weird to you because, you know, double bankruptcy you can't even rent a place in your name. I suppose it would be weird to you. It's weird to you. Somebody who earned $20,000 a month from doing nothing more than getting high and stuffing their face that somebody would what save up the money to buy a house without a mortgage. That might be weird to you, but you're weird to normal well-adjusted people. So I'm, you know what? I love it that you think what I want to do is weird. That just lets me know I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Just so sad. I actually really start to feel sorry for you anyway. So yes, yes. One day I'm going to have no rent and no mortgage. Feels so sad for me. Oh yeah. Um, and this is, Fucking, you know, you have a lot to say so about stupid. no goals, no, nothing. Listen, I said it a long time ago. Okay. Houses are hella expensive in this fucking city. If I never get to my goal, it's not the end of the world. You know, the point is in life. How do you just go through life with no goal further than your next meal? I don't get it. What makes you, Oh, Oh shit. I was about to just say what makes you get up and go to work every day. What makes you do it when you don't want to do it? She doesn't do it. No wonder she has no fucking goals. Easy come, easy go. She doesn't value a dollar because all she did was stuff her face to earn it. <sighs> wow. That's, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Weena Marie, thank you for the super chat. Miriam knows a lot about gray carpets. Oh, oh no. Of the living conditions of my pets and how dirty my table is and this and that. Number one, show your living space. Go ahead. You're a coward. This carpet all right, let's compare. Let's compare what my pet. It's about coward. It's about being a moron. I don't do vlogs. I don't show my house. I don't show my life. I sit here and do reactions. You know, if you weren't such a actual piece of shit and you were still in contact with your ex bestie of 23 years, I would say, why don't you ask Shannon about my living conditions and how filthy or clean my house is? 
<laughs> but you can't, can you, asshole? Um, my pet lives on here. Look at that. A nice vacuumed, pristine carpet. Vacuumed. Vacuumed only if somebody else did it. And isn't that the carpet that you just got a month ago? Yeah, that's right. When Scatman got caught, you know, trying to shit on people, he did this renovation. This is while you were in Canada a month ago. You're showing a month old carpet? Okay. <laughs> Show it to us in another month, you filthy fuck. No, it's not that old, but it's not dirty. And my pet looks very happy. Well fed. Your cat hates your guts. Well fed my ass. You bought one tin of food. When is the cat getting spayed? Hmm? Well groomed. Not like she's no, being held brushed. freaking hostage and sad as hell. Um, you picked up a fucking feral cat off the street and you've now locked it in a home. I would say that, yeah, the cat probably feels like a prisoner. Look at this. Look how sad. Look how sad she looks. She was taken out of her dungeon so she could lick a treat to prove to everybody that she's still alive. Sure. All right. Well, her zombies are stupid enough to eat it up. All right. So, yeah, that's uh, Julia and her nice little... Let's keep her here because she's so cute. Oh, yes! All right. There we go. Exactly, Teardrop. Thank you. You know, I've heard a story... It's like the difference between cats and dogs. I don't know if it's, I don't know that a dog necessarily wouldn't do the same is what I'm going to say. Um, I heard a story once of somebody passing away in their home and because they had nobody in their life that gave two shits about them, that death went undiscovered for quite a while and they had a pet cat. The pet cat got hungry and eventually ate that person's face. You should make sure you buy more than one tin of cat food, Chantal, just saying. Where's the bald spots? And maybe, you know, I'm just saying, but maybe you get salad to pop in more frequently than once every couple of weeks. Yeah. So let, let, let's just see again here. Let's see a side by side. <gasps> wow. All right. Yeah. And this, look at this, look at this hand that, that she has the nerve this is Baked Potato Girl's hand. She has the nerve to call my hands trotters. She's Looking for like her, my nails. <laughs> she's making fun of my hands. All right. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's continue. You just closed a tab and you're out of breath. Muscular fingers. <laughs> we need some cute. Yeah. By every little bite, every little thing. Look at this. Agreed. Oh, NASA oh, Jen, oh my God. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. I mean, you can tell by the title of the screen, but you know what I mean? That was a uh -huh. massive coping bite. She hasn't even said anything yeah. yet. This is going to be great. Oh, oh. Pillows. One of the what? pillows was on the other side yesterday, and now it's on the oh other side. Oh my God. No content. How do people watch this shit? Let me move mm. on. Come on, get to the good parts. Thank you for the super chat. Who cares? I need to make a t-shirt. This is my merch. Who cares? Who cares where my pillows are? Who cares if nobody was sitting on the couch for a few days? We were in bed. Who cares? Girl, you wish. You haven't been in bed with your fake husband since your fake wedding. What does that even matter? <laughs> They're so obsessed. There's no good parts, really, but... Friend? I never. Sh what did, I don't remember shaming her for having weight loss surgery. Whatever. I may have one at one point had an opinion on weight loss surgery, and so what? She can't get over that. It's not my problem. I'm glad she's not in my community anymore. She's a friggin' psycho, like a best friend for like probably right. I don't know how many years now, but since like Big high beats. school. Okay. Oh my God, yeah. same. Very That's good. Uh -huh. I am losing the will to live. We finally got to, she's talking about us. It's the same bullshit as always. She's a broken fucking record. She really didn't need to react to this guy's reaction. It's the same old, same old. She's got fuck all to say. God, never, ever changes. Alfred Bach, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Well, you know, she... <laughs> 
said, Hams said and edited capital H on the ham. I like the capital H took me out. Uh, three crayons. Thank you for the super chat. Need to stop lurking to say, oh, she's so bad at this. I know. All right. How can you say the same thing? I I'm just saying about me, right? Chantal says the same fucking things about me day in and day out. How can you still do it so badly and so boring? You can't come up with anything new? Two years? Nothing? Ryan, thank you for the super chat. Slalama looks for love in airport bathrooms. People hold on, hold on, Pius Miriam with your hijab on. Oh, your you're the first person to talk about Pius. I love it. I love it. Through fake new persona. You left something out of that story. Mm-hmm. But Why would you leave something out of that story? Why? <laughs> Mary Ham doesn't want to tell the world that on top of Mary Ham, it, where's the outrage of her being Islamophobic? But if I say goblin, it's it's racist, right? But her saying Mary Ham and Hamadon all the time with her gullet flying five million miles an hour is fine. Okay. Well, that he was my fiance. Well, maybe I should put on a chin spanks and cosplay like you. Okay. Okay, so what? He was my fiance. Yes, I left. I didn't say that. And I got knocked up twice by this guy. Once, okay. In my life. Oh, it's once now. Oh, okay. It's once now. She herself told us it was twice, but now it's once apparently. What is? What does that change? Nothing. What? Why do I have to repeat that? Why do I have to talk about that? Like, what's the relevance? The relevance was that you were cosplaying now to this new audience that you thought you were getting because of Takat, and you were playing some pious bullshit Miriam act, and that's why you acted like he was just a friend, and you hadn't fucking been fiancéed with this guy, which means not married, when you got knocked up, and that's Xena. So I was just pointing out the hypocrisy of the bullshit that you were playing for your new audience, liar. Relevance. Oh, I guess you wouldn't really want to talk about getting knocked up before you got married now that you're playing, you know, cause. No, no, no. See, because I'm not ashamed of myself like you. And my husband was fully aware that I'm from the West. I'm Canadian. I wasn't born Muslim into that culture. So, no. And his family, everybody's aware of it. So, nice try. Right. So, when he says all that degrading shit specifically about Western women, don't you feel a certain way? Considering he knows all about your Western ways and your Western past. He fucking hates you too. Is there ponytail an illusion? Hecate Stoddard donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents through Super Chat. Pete's got a goatee. FFG want that lumberjack. Thank you, Millie. Obsessed is the correct term. Yep. Obsessed is... Putting Thank it lightly. you, Bonnie girl. I appreciate it. Your only content is talking about the placement of um, somebody's pillows, whether or not they cooked dinner, if they're saying their husband doesn't live with them with no F and proof. Again, her audience are crop eaters. They listen to this. No, 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 honey. See, there's no crap eaters over here. The only crap eater around is you. Except he doesn't want to crap on you, does he? Oh. We don't have to talk about the placement of the pillows or what you made for dinner. We, don't, we really don't have to. We could just every single day talk about how you're an animal abusing, racist, bigot, homophobic, anti-semi, actual Islamophobic yourself, piece of all around garbage. Hmm? We could do that. You should count yourself lucky that all we talk about is your bullshit that you're eating. Literal sh ha that comes out of her mouth every day and they eat it up with a spoon. Jack P. And don't talk. Jealous. <laughs> you wish you were eating this shit off a spoon. Talk about my dirty table. Cause again, we've, we've seen your nasty carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all nasty about my carpet. Find something nasty in the photo of my carpet. Find something nasty. Find something nasty in any photo of my house. And again, I would say, if you hadn't been such a bridge-burning sack of turd, you could ask your ass bestie of 23 years, what's my house like? But you can't, can you? Oh, that's a shame. You make BBJ lick off the floor. <laughs> and... Uh... 
Hey, hey, daughter, you got to remember that Pete's had that print too that one time. So it's expensive. It's expensive to go travel to Canada. It's a, a very expensive <laughs> plane ticket. It's not something I even like technically. Yeah, I could. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is that the real? Uh, oh, God. We got jam views. Tina Bear. She reminds me of Miss Crabtree from South Park. <laughs> Do you want an office referral? <laughs> yes. Somebody get her a little budgie for her head. Thank you, Kina Bear. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat. It's in the building. Buy a new carpet. I get, we got. I we got. Pay off your debts. Jam views in the building. Yeah, Nasty. I guess that. Uh, I guess that. Uh, them the the shit that you. No, you know what's nasty? You filthy fuck! The living conditions that you put those animals through. You know what's nasty? You filthy fat fuck. The villa where you used to live. You know what was less nasty? Where you used to live with BB because he was the one who did the cleaning. Bitch, you forget? Did you forget what the villa looked like? Nobody lives like that. Nobody. Nobody. That's all you. That's the filth. That's who you truly are. Right now, the table that you're streaming on is as dirty as the villa was. <laughs> That's how you live. You fed your pets by dumping some nuggets onto a wet piece of cardboard on the filthy floor. You're calling my carpet filthy? Go have your eyes checked and look at the picture again, Chantal. What you've been doing on your channel, good dog shit, huh? I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make it right. Bloxillion. And Breezy, by the way, you need help, baby girl. Talking about going to hell and hating someone you don't even know. You're weird and bitter. You may need a not Long Island iced tea. Well, yeah, she's so bitter. You still trying to you 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 still trying to make it right? <laughs> uh <laughs> she's been going off. She's been going off. She's been going off like I give a fuck. That's what's that's the funny part about it. <laughs> that's how she talks. It's so boring. Away, uh, Sorry, I'm out, just out. Okay. What up? Oh, good. She's bored, too. She's skipping ahead. She can barely stand to listen to Slow Mama. Look, she skips right through it. Chantal, if you want to skip through Slow Mama and you're just trying to get to me talking, why don't you have some balls? Come to my channel and play the video direct. You don't need him as a buffer. You're, you're skipping through his words. <laughs> Sydney, thank you for the super chat. The cats did pee and shit on the wigs. God only knows where else they did. They were there. Anyway, there was shit all over that carpet. Listen. We all remember the state of the villa, okay? No words needed. The nerve of this bitch to call anybody's living uh, situation or whatever dirty or whatever. No, she has no idea. And again, I would say it would be as simple as asking Shannon. She'll tell you. She'll tell you all. She'll draw you the fucking blueprint of my house. <laughs> Charlotte, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Us. <laughs> Thing. my my debts everything support a man everything and be broke which one is it you moron you in the chat and you've been blocked by jan views press one <laughs> that's a lot of ones jazz you talk all this shit about my channel i got yeah, enough people for a box <laughs> people like Jake, we, Neil, thank you for the super chat Jake potato girl it blocks people who don't like her narrative hey mcchicken <laughs> <laughs> no. Chantal just said that I block people who don't like her narrative. Stop watching me, Chantal. You gotta stop taking everything I say. You gotta I love a fight, is what I love. Okay. I love when your little simp fucks come in here because I like to fight. <laughs> it is what it is. Very good. Thank you again for the super chat. Oh, really, <laughs> Grandma. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, oh, apparently, is she using this whole no, thing? Apparently, as I support a man, Sarah. No, apparently, I do. Yeah, that's what they say. Kind of like a distraction oh, from poop. Oh, I don't say that. You can barely support yourself at this point. You're barely making money. Look at all this. You are doing the absolute most right now for an audience of 386 people with all this drama. Why? Trying to make a little bank so you can fucking visa hop next month. Yeah, you're not supporting anybody at this point. What you're attempting here is to make this guy papers. I never said this was about money. This, oh God, the lights again. 
This was always a marriage of convenience. I just never imagined that you were dumb enough to not understand that you were in a marriage of convenience. That's not usually how it works. Usually it's kind of mutually beneficial, but you're too stupid to marriage of convenience, right? Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Well said. All I have to say is great job, Shmi. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that one. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. Hello. Thank you for being here, girl. Poopgate, she's also doing what we have. You want to talk about Poopgate? Those 5,000 people who watch you are crap eaters. That's the only Poopgate you need to worry about. Always said, you're absolutely right. Luckily, I don't need to worry about Poopgate in life because nobody has ever, ever, ever had this kind of a problem before. This is all you, you fucking psycho. You're a fucking psycho. So you attracted a fucking psycho. It is what it is. So yes, well said. The only poop gate that I need to worry about is none. <laughs> I don't need to worry about what Salad is doing, who he is or is not shitting on. That's all you, honey. Stop projecting your marital problems onto us this heifer has done she's ending the month strong heifer again 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 okay when this is your doppelganger you really need to shut up all right let's keep that up there this is you keep calling me fat she's trying to <laughs> unfortunately i don't have the picture of your uncle to put up to remind you that this is you and the month strong she's twirling up all the drama and you know what it's working because I saw What do you that think you're doing? You're literally, literally riding my coattails for any money. You've tried doing your pathetic, stupid vlogs. Nobody watches. So can it. There were 1,000 fucking morons. Tell me to can it, you fucking useless heifer. I've never made a vlog. Never, ever made a vlog. If I made a vlog and posted it on this channel, I bet you anything it would get better views than the shit going on on your channel right now. It is what it is, okay? I'm not a vlogger. I have no interest in doing that shit. I'm watching her live today. You know how JJ, long it's she been? looks, she called you a heifer when she looks like that. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes. Funny, ridiculous, isn't it? Anybody else notice that the only argument she's had the entire time she's been addressing me is my looks, but she never, ever talks about looks, but she literally has nothing else to say. Lies about BBJ or my looks. Well played. Besides yesterday and today, how long it's been since she's had a thousand people watching her live? Who cares? Uh, she's getting exactly what she wants. The only reason people are watching you is to be stupid like this and talk about my pillow placement. God right. damn it. <laughs> Ending the month strong. I, you know what I don't get and I don't understand? Yeah, this person makes money off my back every day and I don't have a right to make money off my own original content. Well, you idiot. Your own original like, content you? sucks balls. You can't make money off it because no one wants to watch it in its original form. Everybody waits for the remix. Dropped as a baby or what? And Listen, Funkle Baby, <laughs> you really going to talk about babies and what may or may not have happened to them? My two parents come from very different places, okay? Your parents are siblings. Funkle Baby, worry about your half toes and your fucking weird webbed eyes. Is your, your channel is based around booty <laughs> beauty. <laughs> right. So if your channel is based around... Slow Mama, your channel is based around me, bitch foodie beauty when you want foodie beauty to grow right yeah i don't want to see right teardrop so Chantal is a millionaire but at times too poor to travel which a is millionaire. it millionaire mm -hmm. mm -hmm. her cheeks stick out as far as her nose yeah somebody lose and not have views if i'm they can at least say thank you right Acting to them like i want food I, to be honest mm -hmm. with you i want the world to see ffg so they can so they can yeah, honestly see what I see, in. right? Because if the world really got to look at FFG, they'll be like, wait, what is this going on here, right? Yeah. I'm not the type of person to be like, yo, nobody should watch that. Like, I, I, like when people ask me, they ask me all the time. They say, yo, mama, but you watch FFG. You watch, I do. I ain't going, I'm not a liar here and sit here like she does 
and FFG goes, I don't watch Foodie Beauty. I just watch Foodie Beauty with y'all. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I just watch. Yeah, it's the truth of the situation. I don't know what to tell you. Whether you like it or not, it's way too boring to sit through twice. If you think I'm going to watch Foodie Beauty and then we're going to watch it together as a group, yeah, no fucking way. It's hard enough to sit through the shit once. Uh, maybe during Crackhead Olympics. Yeah, definitely. Now? Hell no. The return of Veronica Sawyer. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I haven't watched yet. and then, But know everything before it happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, because I go to Twitter. Everybody knows what goes on with the gang and Twitter. You see, like, highlights. It's like, uh, are we rushing to go live on this one? Are we even going to react to this live stream? We've been skipping plenty of them lately, you know? So I go to Twitter, and I see, is it worth our time? Yes or no? She apparently, she's going to show this, uh, the, her table, and it's going to have this, her cat eating pita. You watch everything I do. The minute I talk about you or I go live, you're live. What kind of life do you have? Seriously. That's not true at all. You know, I stream consistently at the kind of the same time every day, either somewhere between six and seven Eastern every, almost every day, right? The weekend, we, yeah, we switch it up sometimes, but I'm pretty fucking consistent with the time. You happen to come live. You who goes live at any time, any time, day or night, like a crackhead, okay? You happen to come live every day lately when I'm about to go live. I don't come live because you're live. Tonight we certainly did, but it is what it is, beesh. You know, like, oh my gosh, seriously, I can't get over, I can't get over how stupid this is. Like, I can't even believe I'm reacting to this. Imagine spending that much time and energy hating on someone instead of making their own content. It's crazy. Yeah, because she's, she's lazy. She doesn't have to. She has all these brain dead issues. <laughs> she's sitting there right now like a walrus on a couch calling someone else lazy it's not about lazy i have no desire to not everyone wants to do vlogs and shit like that sounds awful to me no, i don't give a shit i'm a shit talker i like to react to things i like to critique things that's what i like to do you do what you want and i do what i want bees and let bees idiots who have a hate heart, heart on for, I don't even know what at this point anymore. They don't even know anymore. Now they're mad at how my pillows are placed. Now they're mad at me spending my own paycheck on travel or something else. Why are we mad? I don't give a damn what you spend your paycheck on. Who's mad? You're mad maybe because your paychecks have become tiny. I don't give a fuck what you spend your paycheck on. What the fuck does it affect? What you put in your mouth doesn't affect my leg. And what, how you spend your money doesn't affect my bag, okay? Stupid. Get it through your... Why are you so obsessed with money? Is this what happens? Because you're so fucking broke now? And just thinking back to the days when you were making 20 grand a month, so you can't get the money off of your mind because you're really, really obsessed with it. For someone who claims that they don't even care about it and they don't need it. That's what... F FFG a liar. Why don't you just admit that you watch Foodie Beauty? And why don't you want her to be bigger? The bigger Foodie Beauty gets, the bigger you get. Right? What the fuck do I need to be bigger for? I, I don't give a shit. If her channel grows, if my channel... I literally could not care less. I would come here every day and do the same goddamn thing we do now. What fucking difference does it make if Chantel's channel grows, if this channel grows? I don't care. I don't consider this a legacy. I don't aspire to any plaques or schmacks or, or I don't know, want a certain amount of views. I literally don't care. This is all Chantal. She's the one who has nothing else going on in life. And she's the one who considers this her legacy. The faster you can pay your Maybe home you off, too. the bigger food yeah, you get. Yeah, let's see that happen. Right? Too. Because everybody wants to hear somebody Thank you, JJ. like Foodie Beauty, but uh, then also hear a separate opinion or somebody that's against Foodie Beauty, right? Everybody wants... Thanks, Avi. It makes you bigger. But holding Foodie Beauty just to where she's at is only going to hold you to where you're at, right? Because... Bitch, I'm fine with that. I already can't keep up with the chat and shit. <laughs> this is fine by me. After the documentary is done, that's it. Now people got to move to the reaction channels or they got to move to watching Foodie Beauty. So seeing her grow is actually a good thing for you. But in this space, everybody got to be this big badass and act like.
the people that they watch, they don't really watch. It's so misery, stupid. yeah, creepy. Don't. They can't be honest. Just be honest. You watch food. Oh, I think I've been honest about it a million fucking times. You're the one clearly lying. You're the one who can't accept the truth. You're the one seemingly a lot more obsessed than other people in this community. And it seems like you might be projecting yourself a little there, slow mama. She's boring as shit. If it were crackhead Olympics and I had all the time in the world, sure, I would have watched it twice. It's hard enough to sit through this shit once. There is no fucking way anybody would watch this twice now. Booty beauty. Matter of fact, you're obsessed with her. She spent weeks on your marriage. She still talks about it being fake and the with no proof. And the only man we've seen concerning her and her supporters, meaning her two, were creepy. Yep. And she, she has no, exactly. My pillow has moved two inches, right? I should move them around just to mess with them. You want to, you want to wear her skin? Come on. Yeah, Technically a ticket could be bought, but then like we have bills. Like I, I want to wear her skin, says the man who's deeply implanted in her asshole. What does that mean that you want to wear her shit? Because you've been wearing it. I have a lot of debts. I have and to deal with from it. Canada. Um, we have right. our bills here, you know, and we are planning for other travel. And so for me to just go to Canada, like for no reason, like nothing going to happen. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. They'll ship her ass back to Canada. Get the fuck out of our country. Kuwait is the deportation capital of the world. They yeah, I know you're waiting for that to happen, you psychotic weirdo. But it's no, I'm not. <laughs> Your country is my country, bitch. Canada is much better off without you. If you think I want you here, you really don't get it. It's not going to stay there. Would have no problem. Go somewhere else. I don't care. I'm I'm here. Afraid. Even though I've said that a million times, I can't live with my man if we're not married. Like, so much uh, about Kuwait. It's too stupid. Deep yeah, but you've said a lot of things and most of them are lies. So we don't listen to anything you have to say. Poor capital of the world. What? What is all these Google searches doing? Yeah, how is it de What? What? Yeah. Why don't you Google search it yourself? Kuwait is the deportation capital of the world. You fucking uneducated swine. The two of them. What? What? Learn something, fuck port capital of the world she's so she it just is pulls all this stuff literally out of her friggin ass oh and uh, they're <laughs> fucking really frying these people's brains man these people be googling like crazy <laughs> everest blood foodie beauty's in kuwait it's the deep port capital of the world if, wherever foodie goes if food i hear i smell burnt rubber when they try to come up with these theories beauty went to mexico <laughs> <laughs> and, lived, yeah. and found a spanish man and lived in mexico these people would find out English. everything about mexico it's crazy. Absolutely. It's like I said before she went to Kuwait. I, I am. I still am very ignorant when it comes to the Middle East in general. Kuwait specifically. I didn't know shit about Kuwait. So we, we did a little research. What's the problem? Now you're giving shit because people want to educate themselves? If we had stayed ignorant, you would have given shit for that. But the fact that we didn't, you give shit for that. Fuck off. Stay dumb. I don't give a fuck. McLovio Garcia, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Easy. They've never been there, but they'll yeah, find out about it. Nicole Google. Y donated $5 through super chat. Let's compare Foodie's views, followers to Doherty Dozen, and compare that to FFG's coverage of both. Stop the cap, frog bodied bish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for the Nicole. $5. As soon as you do a Dirty oh my Dozen gosh, stream, that made me FFG, laugh. nobody's watching. She never even. Still more people watching Doherty Dozen, Dozen than watch you, Slow Mama, or that watch Chantal. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Again, not my legacy, not my only source of income. Not as desperate as either one of you, it seems. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. He absolutely is community dick that nobody wants. That's why he's an incel. <laughs> I haven't heard but of Kuwait before this, exactly. A foodie beauty stream. I love Pingu because that's what I hear whenever these people talk. Shit blow up. That's a fact. It's a fact. A nice. What is that? Through super, I view. She will be trying to hide her thirteen chins and show her daughter. Yeah. Upload. Uh, I just want to see what it. I just. 
You're a liar. Fabulous fabric. Cool. Thank you for the super chat. Let me go. I'm going to go to real oh, time. Oh, no, Blacks. You insincere fake fuck. You disgust me. Right. Swift a beanbag. Thank you what for the super chat. What is she mad? Cool. She's Thanks so mad here. all the time. Like, I give a crap. Oh, shit. It has thinks. 100,000 views already. That's awesome. Congratulations, Mr. Snowflake. That is fucking Mr. great. Snowflake, that probably burns can't even her finish ass. Her sent- no, it doesn't burn You know the crazy part about this, Mr. Snowflake? I don't care whatsoever. You see how? Oh, yeah. You didn't care so hard. You came live half an hour before his premiere and then scurried like the rat that you are to end the stream so you could go and watch and then came right back to rage about it. Yeah, no, you don't care at all. We know it's so clear. Katniss, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. How they sucking you up right now? Yeah. As soon as you do a documentary on FFG, watch her fucking attitude change. I don't care how many people. Documentary how many about FFG. What's it going to be? Well, the carpets. Here's the carpet sample. Here's A. Here's B. Fuck off. Haters support hate and untruth doesn't make it right. I don't care what whatsoever. Marmaduke the cat. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Yes. Because I don't want to remember FFG say this. Because if that nigga ever do a fucking documentary on FFG, she's going to fucking turn on this motherfucker mm. so fast. Of course. Oh, five dollars only. Years. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm raging. I'm <laughs> The one sniping and not. <laughs> I don't care who wants sniping. to take what I say over there. Snip it, clip it, do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. Damn. That's exactly what you're do- you do. You stream snipe me all the time. Actually, I really don't. This is kind of a rare occasion. I don't even know the last time that we sniped her. We do not snipe. Oftentimes, she's live while we're live. We're watching other stuff other videos of hers or whatever, I can barely stand to watch her live. So no, we don't snipe. It's been a long time. Somebody told her that we were sniping. You stupid moron. So what else you want? A week. I'm pissed. I need an outlet. I swear to God, I'm going to end up doing it. I'm oh. so, my oh. fist wants to talk to you guys. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, sure. Here's where she threatens. She, You had me face to face. There's no threat. Where's the threat? You have threatened me multiple times, Chantal. You, me. Me saying that my fist wants to talk is me getting punchy. There's no threat there. It's rage. I'm angry. And there's things that I I explained it yesterday. Anyway, you have to keep biting your tongue on this fucking platform. So it makes me want to go to a platform where you don't have to bite your tongue and I can just finish my sentences because I'm sick to death of not finishing my sentences. My fists want to talk. What are you going to do? Why you always got to use that violence, baby? My- That's rich again coming from you. <laughs> Where's me using violence? I've never been banned from YouTube for seven days for being violent. That was all you, slow mama, recently because you threatened someone with violence. Stop projecting. You're just like Chantal. My girl, why do you always got to use violence? You're- She's seriously so mad. Like she wants to, she wants to come at me. I'm telling you, I am I more swear to God, I'm thinking about it. Of the ghost. I'm I'm more afraid of a three-year-old child than you. Trust me. This wants to talk? Wow. Wow. Your fish wants to off. talk. I know, right, woman. Black Zillion? <laughs> Her fish wants to talk, y'all. Talk. And thanks for all the clout, seriously. Because all this crap you talk and all the viewers you have, you still have the same subscribers. What is it saying? God, I'm gonna end up doing it. Uh, it's I have the same. So who's she even talking to? Maybe I should go and find somebody to lie to, and we can do sub for sub. No, I would never. That's all you, bitch. Early in Her the fist. week, I'm pissed. I need an outlet. I swear to God, I'm gonna end up doing it. Awesome. So, <gasps> my fist wants Calm to down. talk to you guys. You're gonna have you know a hard time I mean? yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kathy, th- oh honey, stop projecting. You hear how fast and how many words come out of my mouth, and I don't get winded and I'm not out of breath. Worry about you and your heart attacks, honey. And worry about your leg, too. Thank Calls you for the super chat. Fat. Yes. Chantal's days. Wake up, eat, rage, lie, eat. Right. I know, me. Yeah. Exactly. I fuck yourself into the camp. What? Wake up, lie, rage, eat? Excuse me? Are you Hell speaking yeah. again about yourself? <laughs> That's literally all you do is rage. Bro, you know? <laughs> about my pillow placement. What, what an amazing existence. We're all so jealous. Oh, no. No. you don't rage and obsess about someone's life life if you're not a bit jealous okay if you're not a bit bothered by them 
Trust me. I do what? I, I, I do. Is that why you're here raging about me? Is that why you rage about me every time you need something to talk about? For the better part of two years now? Yeah, I know, Chantal. You love me. <laughs> do a stream like this here and there. You have years oh, of, of just obsessing like about this here or there. Shut up. Just because you delete them. Don't act like this isn't a regular thing. You are constantly either talking about me, talking about BBJ. You're so pathetic, Chantal. You have nothing else at all to talk about in life. And you're so mad at your incel shit loving freak of a fake husband. But you can't take out that rage on him. So you've been taking it out on me. This is nothing new. About my life. You freaking moron delusional oh it's all i say i'm angry and who appears she, my yeah, bully she calls herself Fuck. a reaction channel she's <laughs> oh man she'll Still... never stop until youtube stops her i know exactly borrowed time flip <laughs> <laughs> borrowed time says the death fat about to lose a leg what are you talking about borrowed time my channel or your limbs Borrow time, bish. <laughs> she tried to avoid cameras at all costs. <laughs> yep. Do you, yeah, blame I call from the Do you blame her? <laughs> Sorry for the quick pause, but this makes sense. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. It makes right. a lot of sense, right? What does? The nails would have been starting to already to curl under and go in at BB's. And oh, shut up about the effing nails. That's all you have at this point. You wish that's all we had. We have so, 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 so much. Chantal, why don't you address any of the other ailments? Huh? Any of the other health problems that BBJ was dealing with? It's so much more than just the nails. You wish it was just nails. Her nails are fine, you stupid idiot. Let's see. Now they are. Thank God. Huh? <laughs> let's see the let's see a video of the cat. Let's see BBJ for more than a split second looking miserable, licking a treat she doesn't like on your filthy carpet. No problem. Let's see the last vet bills that you have for BBJ. I'll do a live stream. She'll be sitting right on my lap. How the fuck? How about that? Show us the bills. <laughs> and then yeah. what? Fast forward till 2021, I believe. Right, 2021. When she goes with uh, Roman Haram, girl. Thank you for the super check. And they had been embedded. <laughs> got a life that alert. <laughs> Life alert. Been on crap about you unless you're spewing hate out of your toothless looking mouth. All right. Making Again, choose your battles. Toothless looking. I have every tooth that God intended me to have. You have no back teeth and you're a death fat and you're losing your teeth one by one. One day you won't be able to chew anymore. What are you going to do then? <laughs> Make yourself fucking burger smoothies. I don't know if that's going to be good. Lost girl, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. She has nothing outside of YouTube, nothing at all. Things worse. Where are we at? Let me speed you up. F -F -F the like they're, they're so their like voice. mental. Like there's no other word for it. They are. Whatever. <laughs> they think that's going to affect me. Channels. Doesn't affect my. Hello. Wait. No. No. Uh... Um, I'm almost done, guys. Oh, thank God. I'm then losing the will to uh, live. This is almost three hours. Some games or something. It's almost over. Because it's not going to happen, no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Even if you kill yeah. me, I believe in God. Good. It's, it's my time. It's my time. So. Why does she say that? This is, it's so many times now that she said that whole, like, you can kill me. Even if you kill me. Shh. Well. It's true. It's a saying. Because there's nothing you can do. I don't care. I really don't. It is You're not definitely gonna not a saying. Who the fuck says that? Nobody says that, you weirdo. See, I try and thank you for the super chat. Yes. Hey, Julia. You're the real rage pig. Trust me. Reggie, the reason why she says that is because there was a person in your stream, well, in your chat that we called out that said that they were willing to lose it all because food. No, you fucking idiot. Putting on and taking off your glasses all dramatically. Fuck off. That is not why she said that. She has been saying that long before that person came into this jet. Shut up with the dramatics. Again, the person now acting all outraged about a little violence, right, is the same person who was just banned from their channel for seven days for threatening somebody with violence. That slow mama. And here he does, takes off the glasses, all dramatic, to make a point that is moot. 
because he's the violent motherfucker. Booty yeah, bring it. Bring it on. Then they deleted their channel like a coward. Bring it. I'm not afraid of you. I dare you to come here. Beauty supposedly dumb you all are, really. And she said she's going to Canada to lose it all. Strife. Remember no that, FFG? Cares. And we pointed that out to you, that there they're, was somebody in your chat. They're just haters. They're not reactors at all. They're not reacting to video. They're not reacting to anything relevant. They're not reacting to anything. They're just looking for something to hate on. That's it. Saying that kind of stuff. And then we saw that they're, we watched their channel of them. Yeah, me neither. Exactly. Exactly, Vertica. That's how they live their life. Like, with heart, with this in their hearts and... and and that's fine if that's how they want to do it. That's why I say stay mad. That's your problem, not mine. This has no reflection on me as a person whatsoever. They're actually Yeah, but you see, the fact that there's an entire community that hates your guts, thousands and thousands of people who hate you all for valid but different reasons, that says everything you need to know about you. That tells everybody who you truly are, except for you, of course, because you'll always be the victim in your own mind. It's not you. It's all of the community, the thousands and thousands of people. We're all wrong. You're right. Joan from Finance, thank you for the super chat, girl. Actions have no reflection on me. Toting guns and shit like that. And they said that they were going to make them themselves, they were going to make it over to Canada and they were going to knock on Foodie Beauty's door yeah. and that was going to be her last time. Remember that, FFG? Remember that? Not only you, that, but that unstable audience member of hers um, wanted to kill me. Over it's not an audience member. They came in here knowing that you watched to get a little message across to you or whatever. And you know what? I couldn't care less. For something I didn't even do. Saying I made fun of her kids never happened. And she couldn't prove it because it didn't happen. These people are mental. And you wonder why I like living here. Oh my god! You didn't. I love you being didn't across the that, world. You from didn't these cut that shit off weirdos. and say no. That's nasty. That's disgusting. I don't fuck with that. Remember that? We covered that on this channel, though. Yeah. Good for you for covering it. I don't give a fuck. I was live. We covered it too. And again, I will say, I couldn't care less. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, children. we did. We did, and you saw it, and then you reacted to it. And you said it wasn't a big deal, know, even though this person was on it, their last leg and didn't have nothing to lose. Remember that? Hmm. Okay, but well, go ahead. But yeah, yeah, death is death is always talked about on these streets, though. You know, Yaba with the tombstone. You know, talking about she's gonna have a heart attack soon. She's gonna lose a leg. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> Shh. No, but you're not worth a simple assault charge. <laughs> right. You're not right. worth. You're not right. worth a simple assault. You wouldn't be assaulting you anybody you if we came Didn't face you just say you need to trust. create a whole new platform? Chantal, can you at least shut the fuck up or mute him when you're going to speak? Now you, you're speaking over the reaction? Are you stupid? Don't answer that. We know the answer. To talk about how you want to beat her ass? <laughs> but she's not worth a simple charge? This so one. tough with your big strong forearms, huh? She's not worth a simple. You gotta it. create a whole new platform to talk to your shit to about beat beating up somebody up. And now she's not worth. She said I'd have to show myself to beat her up. I showed myself at your fatty fashion show, didn't I? Huh? I showed myself to be the driver to rescue your former pet, didn't I, dumbass? With it. Boy, you so you a hypocrite, bro. You be saying anything. Get about murder. Oh, okay, for, for real, forget about it. You're right, of course. No, I'm not a hypocrite. You're the fucking hypocrite. You're standing there and right now clutching your pearls when you were just banned from your own channel for being violent for seven days. I keep the same energy. I don't give a fuck. And I don't pretend to give a fuck. I literally don't. Stay mad, stay sad. Yep. Stay contentless unless you're doing something stupid like this. Yeah. Trying to find out Somebody my visa status hey, for Moo, views. Moo trying back? to look at my. Uh, uh, isn't Missy Moo back? Uh, I, somebody said, hey, Missy Moo. Uh, is Missy Moo back with the Milky Milks? Is that it? I'm glad that I'm so comfortable with you. About as it's very good. This is white chocolate, Mamul. Oh, those are good. I want one now. Yeah. I don't care. I don't know this person, Brenda. Why do I care? <laughs> That's on her.
Whatever. They Who act cares? like th their, their tea is like, oh, look at Chantel got told off by a tech hat. I don't care. Like, this person has no impact on my life or my views or my subscribers. Yeah, but you tried, though, and it didn't work. And that's why you couldn't get excited over your uh, 100K, because you didn't earn it and you cheated your way to your legacy. Pathetic. Hey. She's had a crush on, exactly. They all piled him. They're a hate mob. That's all it is. They're pathetic. I wouldn't want a single one of those people in my chat. Not for any amount of viewership. None. I mean, like, you know, stay away. Oh, we do stay away. That's why we congregate here, Beach Jealous. Mella Bella, thank you for the super chat. Might be time to put up some of Salad's messages about graping Christian women. Those two are such a shame to his family. Absolutely. I feel sad about that because his audience has gone down a lot, like since we weren't living together, but even mine has, you know, like if that's the price I have to pay for no drama and not having these leeches, like yeah. I said, yeah, there's 5,000 people in uh, the witches chat. There's 5,000 people in part anywhere that there's drama about me and people can go and freely hate on me. Right. There's going to be views. Yeah, but that's true. Yeah, that's true. I would rather have none of those Cheap people views. in my life. They're toxic. They're disgusting. Bye. They're Islamophobic. Oh, shut the fuck up, Islamophobic. Get out of here. You are, you stupid idiot. Making fun of hijab, associating anything to do with pig, Hamadan. I don't make fun of hijab. I make fun of you and your cosplay. It's nothing to do with hijab. It's you. Hamadan is a city. <laughs> and you will forever be a pig. Mary Ham, it's okay for you to pull the race card and all that shit. But when it comes to Islam... Islam you're innocent, right? You're a vile. If that was true, how come you had so many more viewers during Crackhead Olympics? You, you're you not Islamophobic. During Crackhead Olympics, because it was drama, you dummy. The only reason you have views, dummy. <laughs> wow. What you say makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. If, if that's the truth, what you're saying right now, right. then in theory, her behavior has made me even more supportive of your channel, Chantal. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for having your own brain. Theory, now when you rage and things like that you should have just as many know, views or viewers whatever as you did during crackhead olympics mm. nope not the same at all nope el petite the sala accent she does is insanely racist yeah that too l yep it's definitely not racist to mimic the way someone speaks definitely not i mimic the way you speak all the time cornhole does that make me racist? No. It's it's shtick. It's what we do over here. We've always fucking done it over here. We've done it back uh, the archive. Uh, you never had a problem when it was about Koki. You've never said a word when I do it about literally your mother yesterday. Oh, no, cutie. Whoa. It's what we do. Janet Parvet, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. I've said it a million times too. I've done it to my father his whole fucking life. What was it? Is that racist too? Asshole. Eh. The Lulu. Thank you for the super chat. Yep. Thank you. Exactly. Thanks, lovey. <laughs> Great fucking point. Totally forgot. Live Jelly. You're right. She was just making fun of Milk Tea's accent. She she was making fun of the way of, of my voice in this stream too. Is that not uh, racist? <laughs> Would that be anti-Semitic? I don't know. Her, the, the logic ain't logicing, so I don't even know what to call it. Shouldn't have changed anything. Because the views around here haven't changed since Crackhead Olympics. I'm just saying. So she's FFG compares herself. Because you still talk about me and come up. Because everybody in your chat is still reacting to the person that they think I still I, I still am. You're all still expecting me. You're all still making up all this drama with my relationship, with my life, all making up stupid shit, and you're all believing it. So, yeah, of course your views are going to be the same. They're not the same, though, FFG, when you talk about anything else other than me. So I'm actually really flattered. Thank you. That level of obsession and hate, you're real fans. Thank you very much. And I don't want any of you in my space. For me, again, quality over quantity every day about her views having and don't worry i still make money i don't need to have hate filled audience to make money 
I don't need to make money off of someone else at all. Changed. You can't say the same. You can't say the same. No, you don't need anyone else to make money off of. You've made money slowly killing yourself on this platform for years. Same. FFG, <clears throat> you enhanced the reaction channel. You actually couples, right? Why wouldn't you go with your lumberjack, huh? Oh, yeah, because he's fake. Maybe he was with you. Is the lumberjack in the room with us right now? Good chat. Is your husband, you weirdo? Nikki, thank you for the super chat. I noticed he's not going at you like he did the others. It, uh, I don't know. He's, he has nothing to say. You know what it is? It's repetition because he fucking snipes me every goddamn day, pretty much. So him too. It's like the broken record, like us reacting to Chantal. He has less to say because he says it all the time. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. How hypocrisy you are. Because I know if anybody bought me two pair of shoes and they didn't have to. She right? wanted to be Captain And then we went into some co-ed. Uh, anyway, she has nothing to bring to the uh, What? She has nothing intelligent to say. What? Uh -oh. Am I going to get caught? Right? Right? It's giving me such a headache. Uh, okay, I think it's over. Yeah. I drink. That's. Yeah, I might. up. Anyway, thank you I very think, much. Uh, I'm done with that. It's been a long time. Oh, thank God. <sighs> they don't allow blow up dolls on the ride. Yeah. So I guess thanks for listening to like over three hours of this crap. Okay, we're done. Oh my God, that was horrendous. For the love of God, Chantal. Next time you react, just pop a fucking video on and react. Don't react through this idiot. He is literally dumber than you. And that is saying something. Holy shit. I have the worst headache right now in my right eyeball. It's in my eyeball. That was, again, he's going to say what? Admit it. Admit it. You're lying. You watch her twice. You watch her. And then you watch her with the girl gang. I'm in physical pain sitting through it once. Who in the fuck would watch this twice? You have to hate yourself. I don't. I'm a fatty, but I'm not such a self-loathing one like that, okay? Holy hell, that was awful. Awful. Completely awful. I waited that whole thing. We were the grand finale, and it was such a fucking letdown. Holy crap, Chantal, that was worse than usual. Oh, my head is killing. Three hours of our lives. We're never getting back because of these two fucking assholes. All right, we're not sniping them anymore. Executive decision. She's doing a react? That's fine. We let her go ahead for like one hour ahead of us. Then we'll come live so that we never have to watch any of it in real time. It is painful. 1.5 speed for a rage stream. That's the new standard around here. Uh, yikes. Yeah, you did say it. Absolutely did. Migraine. Massive, massive migraine right now. <sighs> wow. Okay. <laughs> this was a labor of love. <laughs> I'm a masochist. We all are a little bit. It's just, it's still a little early in the week for all of this bullshit. You know what I mean? A Friday, fine, fine. We could take it on a Friday. This was three hours for nothing. Nothing. That that was like blue balls. You know what I mean? Oh. The Lulu, thank you for the super, super chat. Chantal, your mama's using you, dummy. Yep. But just like everyone else who has in the past, she's too stupid to realize it and is just happy to ha have like an ally on her side. Not a loser. Anyway, y'all, listen. <laughs> we are caught up in real time in Shantopolis. She was live mukbanging right before this stream. If you missed it and you're interested in watching it, we reacted to it. It's what we were live doing right before this on Twitch. So if you got the Twitch, Twitch it and tweak it. All right? Knock yourselves out, tweaking and tweaking. If not, you know how we roll. I'm going to post it up on this channel tomorrow anyway. So one way or the other, it'll be here. If you would like to see it, she was extremely manic in that stream. It's the only part that made it interesting at all. Totally fucking wild and manic and like excited for this reaction. I would say it was much more hype than this whole fucking react stream was, to be totally honest. Denny, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Is this the plaquehead Olympics? <laughs> that is fucking great. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow, y'all, <laughs> I want to cry a little. I'm going to go take a Tylenol and put a fucking compress on my head and chill. 
Y'all, whatever you're doing with the rest of your nights to alleviate your headaches, have a great time. Enjoy. <laughs> Fuck my life. Just be safe, all right? Whatever it is. Don't take too many Tylenols. Don't do, don't do wild things, all right? Uh, and uh, fuck, what were you saying? What's my name? Where am I? Have a great day tomorrow, everybody. I will see you tomorrow, okay? We, we got to do something different. I need to laugh tomorrow. This was too draining. Tomorrow we laugh, all right? See you then. Bye, guys.